Oh, Lord. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic Eight starter faces is all you get to represent every single person on planet Earth. Oh, geez. What is my name? Oh, what? I can't put Doug Dimmadome? Only Doug Dimmadome? It's not Doug Dimmadome. That's not right. Doug Dimmadome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. There we go. That's much better. Look at this absolute tool with the half parted hair and half shaved head trying way too hard. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not a professor. This isn't how Pokemon games are supposed to start. Many Pokemon with which we share our lives. And by that, I mean they are our complete subservient creatures. And we keep them in tiny little balls. Here's a freaking elephant. Impressive, isn't it? It's glorified animal fighting, which isn't all right in real life. But don't worry about that because this is fiction. His name is Ro and he's a tool. Even though he's a tool, he's got pretty sweet facial hair, I gotta admit. What was that? What, do you kill a bug just now or something? Do they have bugs here? Why is this Charizard so small, man? It's always bothered me so much ever since I first saw this game. Charizard's big! Charizard's a freaking dragon! You can ride on Charizard, but this Charizard is tiny! Oh, you never lose? Yeah, you're so humble. I'm making mac and cheese and nobody can stop me that's just a sheep that's not even a pokemon that's just a sheep i'm just watching some youtube oh i was watching that battle from before i wonder if i subscribe to desbug that's what you all should do huh that your flash new phone are you speaking english to me right now his famous charizard pose uh is it this one right here because i know all about that one put in a t-posing charizard First of all, Hop is a stupid name. So you at your what? You didn't say. I'm just supposed to assume your house, I guess? Open your eyes, mother. It's time for you to see that I have to go out on an adventure without you. Yo, is this my room? Is my room connected to the kitchen? They did that because I'm a woman, didn't they? I will grab my bag. Wait, that's not mine. That's, that's my mom's. Well, doesn't matter. I've got a bag and a stupid hat. So I'm ready to go. Yeah, I felt some power in that. I can get on board. Are you loading right now? Did you just load so that I could leave my own home? Imagine if you had to wait for a loading screen every time you left your house. This kid probably so thinks he's gonna get with me later on in life and it's not gonna happen. Did you just call me weak? I will actually annihilate you. Well, clearly it wants its freedom. Why don't you let it out, man? It's a little sheep boy. Or you could stop it from hurting itself. Oh my God, is this his house? It's enormous. It doesn't look that big on the inside. It's gotta have like 20 extra rooms just for playing video games or something. Lee's hopeless with directions. This is his brother. His brother definitely knows where this house is. What? That will probably be for the best? You're telling me this grown man can't find a house? Uh, his own house, I assume, at one point? Wait, how long have we been friends? I've never met him. I don't know what's going on. Just like everything else in my life. Ew, don't look at me. I'm out of here. The cat's bipedal. I'm sorry, where did the butt rock come from? I wasn't really prepared for that. But not you, Doug Dimmadome. We'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Bro, you think I'm not ready to throw hands with a wild Pokemon? Wait, what happens if I just disobey? Never mind, they don't let you disobey. It's not how this is gonna go down. Look at that huge crowd of at least 10 people. It's a straight line. It was a straight line from the house here. There's no way he could get lost. Okay, strike a pose. That doesn't make everything better, you know. Some real quality animations going on on the screen right now. Oh, the slowdown. Impressive. I mean, that Charizard is shorter than a man. That is bothersome for me. Look at it, it's so tiny. Ugh, I gotta, I gotta move past it. Otherwise, I'm never gonna be able to beat this game. Out of his way, dude, he walked, we walked like 10 feet to get here in a straight line, I might add. Being able to tell exactly how much his brother's grown is exactly the kind of sharp eye that's kept him undefeated. How on earth would that help him win a Pokemon battle? That's rad. How is that a Charizard pose? I haven't seen a Charizard do that pose once. Feel free to prove me wrong with images of Charizard doing that pose, but until then, I'm not buying it. So what's the sitch, bro? You gonna give me a Pokemon or what? Ah, there are the balls. Guess I gotta choose him. He hit the little pear with a stick. I'm sold. I guess Grass Monkey. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna ditch him as soon as I can get the original Gen 1 starters anyway. If they're in this game, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's not original, but whatever. It's funny. Oh, wow, they're friends. That's pretty awesome. I can get on board with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Whew. That was almost really sad. 
Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and kind, too. Uh, what's a dragon gonna show a bunny? Enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Like, bro, that's what he does for a living. He's like the best one right now. That'd be like if you're a professional football player, you came home and your mom was like, enough of this sports bull crap. Why is Charizard not bigger? I'm sorry, it's the last time I'll bring it up. It's just so frustrating. If you trust in each other and battle alongside, you'll be the special blah, blah, blah. I won't ever shut up about it. If you want to fight me, I'll annihilate you, Hop. I'll hop all over you and your Pokemon's corpses. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know why I dislike this kid so much. He hasn't really done anything. I just feel like he's the worst. That's true. You do outnumber me, but you'll probably lose because you're an idiot. DK used Scratch as he then proceeds to smack this sheep with a stick. You know, the best part of every Pokemon game is in the very beginning, where your Pokemon only knows Scratch and Growl, and then you just scratch and tackle each other into submission. Branch poke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there, man. We might have an HR nightmare on our hands. Let me just jam this stick right into your eyeballs. Yeah, of course I did. I'm not an infant, bro. Shouldn't you also already know your brother's the champion after all? You should see his matches or whatever and know the difference between the types. Get your weird water lizard out of my face. My monkey with a stick took it out. Yeah, me and this Grookey are too much. You best remember that and not challenge me eight more times along this journey that we're about to embark on. I don't like that animation. Don't do that at me. Stop. Stop staring right at me. Just a regional dex though. Calm down there, sugar plum. And they vanished without a trace, leaving me all- Oh, he's right over here. And I never saw my friend again as he ran into the fog and promptly died. I was, but apparently you can tell with the eyes that are definitely in the back of your skull. This is mad. Can't even see my own hand in front of my face, but I could definitely see you trying to leave me back there before. Oh, hello. I see we found a legendary Pokemon. Great, now we're in his mist. Dude, at least take me out to dinner before you get your fog all over me, okay? And the two children were devoured by the forest wolf, never to be seen or heard from again. <laughs> your pants with directions. He can't walk on a straight line, but he can find us in a magical forest filled with fog or something. Oh my god, Charizard's gonna eat it. Somebody stop him. The Wooloo has AirPods in. He can't hear us. I hate that. Don't do that in my direction. You giant freako. So go spare. Let me tell you what I do when I get a spare at the bowling alley. God, he waits for me everywhere. Maybe I can... Nope. Definitely can't get around him. Ah, yes. The squirrel. One of nature's most dangerous Pokemon. Oh my god, it ate a nut at me. So intimidating, man. A sheep. It made a sheep noise at me. Whatever will I do besides beat it to merciless death with a stick? I mean, make it faint. Dude, it's a purple building and it's a straight shot from your house to here. There's no way you could possibly be so inept. I'll give it to him. That one's actually cute. Oh, it's cuter in motion. Bro, stop talking about how you get lost. I just want to see Sonya. I like the way she cooks. She makes food you could gobble down in a flash. Are you trying to call her a quality waifu? Because I could agree with that. Oh my god! I'll take your entire stock! Dude, you have no right to be that cute. What the hell? You, on the other hand, have every right. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize my phone could fly. Yeah, phones are really great, especially for taking pictures of you. Will you date me now? Okay, this tune is a banger. I can get with it. There we go. I've renamed my Pokemon to Grass DK. It's exactly what he should have been all along. Why are you everywhere? I thought you were going to Route 2. Get out of my way. Uh, I didn't mean to enter your home, but uh, have one of these. Well... Where's my reward? I've just discovered that fashion is a humongous part of this game, and I will be diving headfirst into said fashion. God, what a nightmare. The only shoe they have is loafers. I better get out of here before I spend all my money in one spot. Dude, why? Everywhere I go, you freaking stop me to talk. Just go on your adventure. Jeez. Oh, surprise brother. Oh, he's surprised as well. Just give me the balls, you walking advertisement. That guy's fast. Why is this guy's face such a mood? Look at him, he's not pleased with anything. Yeah, I feel like that makes enough sense, right? I'm gonna take a wild guess. Is this little Timmy? 
Oh, it's Youngster Jake. Get ready to cry tears of defeat, Youngster Jake. All he has is a squirrel. Are you actually kidding me right now, dude? You think that's gonna get you anywhere in life? Allow me to introduce your squirrel to my monkey's stick. Don't take that out of context. I just beat up a kid's animal and took his money. I have reached peak Pokemon. Perhaps this time it's me who will sneak up on him. You couldn't beat Hop, he sucks. Oh, wait a minute, it tells you now ahead of time what's gonna be effective and not. How did I not notice that until just now? Oh, nice. Well, youngster Benjamin, I'm just gonna have to go on a wild guess and say that you're a bit of a loser, man. Oh, nice, 420. Oh no, he's over there. There's an arena out here. They're gonna make us do battle again, aren't they? Like at this point, I'd do anything to just be set free from the tutorial. I am Doug Dimidome, that's right. Yeah, I already know about Dynamaxing. Pokemon get really big. It's not that hard to understand. Dude, enough with that pose, man. It looks like he's trying to act like he has two shake weights in his hands, but there's nothing there, and it's just freaking everybody out. We're all standing like normal human beings, and he looks like he's about to take a dump and lift some shake weights. What did you just do to me? No, I knew it. I knew he was gonna make me fight him again. Ugh, fine, I'll trash your team yet again. Oh no, here comes his sheep. Whatever will I do? Except send out Grass DK and poke it with a stick. Oh no, looks like your dumb sheep got sent to Night Nightville. I guess he's the one who'll be counting the sheep now. Forever. It's not close, you're losing. Shut up. Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Your Pokeball throw has nothing to do with winning or losing a battle, my guy. Why? He didn't do anything. He lost. You know what? I'm not even going to question it. Just give me the thing so I can please get out of the tutorial now. Dude, Charizard's not even here. What are you talking about? This whole family's delusional. One kid thinks he's a winner. The other guy thinks his Charizard's here when it's not. And also, those shorts are awesome. I like how 75% of the people in this frame are completely static. And then he is just cycling in that one animation now, isn't he? Trust you to pull something like this. I mean, is it just me or does it seem like this whole game is kind of like mistranslated ever so slightly? I don't know which one of these animations I dislike more, but I will say that it's definitely hops. Suddenly Sonya. All right, I can get on board with a sudden best girl. Wait, did we sleep at this lady's house? We don't even know her. She's just the town professor. Why would we sleep here? We just met her today. Oh yeah, it's the big bracelet. Because really, if you can't make your Pokemon big, are you even doing it right? Oh, Jesus Christ. You're gonna get yourself arrested if you keep doing that in public, man. You gotta stop. This time, at least I made it all of five feet before he stopped to talk to me. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. I'm gonna apply that to every single aspect of my life from now on. Will he just follow me forever? Oh, I killed him. I took him out of his home and he vanished. I'm sorry. Oof, he do a roar. What are you waving to? That man? That's a strange man. That's not me. I'm all the way down here. Dude, this game's animations are ass. I'm not even gonna lie. Every single animation boils down to one character slightly moving a piece of their body and another character sometimes moving a piece of their body, sometimes not. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna be the next champion, mom, for sure. And his mom's just like, oh, of course, you big delusional dork. All right, man, we got some full controllable camera. That's what I'm talking about. And immediately I'm stopped once again by the man who stops me more often than Fee from Skyward Sword. If I discover something really huge, look, I can show you something really huge. A whale lord. You thought it was something else? Get your mind out of the gutter, you pervs. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. You gotta be more careful with your words, my man. Is this where the game finally starts? Is the tutorial stuff done now? Can I actually explore, please? Whoa, that's some intense rain out of literally nowhere, considering four feet that way it wasn't raining. This guy's exerting some huge energy, so I gotta exert some huge energy of my own. Spirit Bomb, go! It is very big grass DK, ladies and gentlemen. And he has made just the lamest sound I've ever heard in my life. Giant Pokeball throwing time. Kobe! I mean, I feel like there's only one way to go with this one. If you don't know what that stands for, we legally cannot be friends. Oh God, my ears. His body is ready. Is that a floating ice cream cone? The list of things I've seen now contains everything. Hello, strange man in the wild area. 
Oh god. Oh no. It's my greatest fear. A bear is chasing me in the wild. I think my favorite part about the wild area is the totally dynamic weather, which isn't totally just a weather change on a plane at all. It's completely dynamic. I mean, look, it just starts raining completely naturally and then immediately stops two seconds later. Look, you don't have to convince me. I'll follow you absolutely anywhere. No questions asked. Don't worry. I'll come find you. No problemo. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to stop that. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go to a website that I enjoy that has a number in it, and I'll look you up on there. So I'll catch you later. See ya. Oh my goodness, you can have flaming eyeballs. Yo, I look amazing, dude. Pokemon Sword and Shield, more like Pokemon hair and makeup. Imagine you go to a Starbucks and the guy says, hey, you can fight here once a day, and if you beat me in a fight, you get free food. Also, I thought we were in the cafe. Why are we just in a void of whiteness? What's going on? Why is everybody burning each other so hard in this game? Like, look at this. You can really tell a person's character by going shopping with them. My husband, he doesn't think too much about what he buys. Like, dude, your wife just destroyed you and she doesn't even know me. Ah, uh, yes. Charizard flies in from stage left and stares at the human who is taller than him. I know I said I'd let it go, but I just can't. It's so wrong, dude. He's a dragon. That's a guy. You should be bigger than him. Okay, so if everything goes as planned, it's finally time to take on my first gym leader. What the hell are you? I took the time to talk to a Pokeball. Are you a man or a ball? Which is it? All right, they call him Ball Guy. I guess the answer is simple. Oh, come on, I didn't even move. It just sucked me into his presence. There he goes again, vibrating at me. Do you just literally say the first thing that comes to your mind no matter how wrong it sounds? Like you need to think before you speak. I hate you. These two sure are exuding some aggressive energy in my direction right now. Why can't I go that way? There's not even an excuse. It just has these people saying they're too excited and then it doesn't let me go that way. This is 2019, don't invisible wall me. Would you take a look at this? This place is packed with gym challengers. Oh my God, you don't say. It's almost like it's a gym and the point is to challenge it. What else would it be packed with? You colossal idiot. I'll suspend my disbelief long enough to think that he's talking. What was that? You don't have enough hair to be doing that. You look like a cream puff. Oh my god, I'm so cute. I'm fierce today. Don't even at me. No, it's just uh, his own personal bias, considering one of us is his brother and the other one creamed his brother. You're not gonna be the next champion. I guarantee that's not gonna happen. So they want me to pick my own number for my own uniform, and I'm guessing that literally everyone else on planet Earth is already 69. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Dude, it's one thing when it's just me and you in an open field or something, but we are in like the biggest, most popular place in this region right now. Stop doing that to the man at the desk. It's positively criminal of you wasting the time of someone as important as I am. Well, you know what I have to say to that? Taste my Charizard pose, buddy boy. Oh, I get it. Now I can go this way. Now that the game has told me I can go this way. I'm such a ding dang dumb baby boy. I needed the game to hold my hand and tell me when to come down here. That's what the invisible wall was all about before. Ugh, of course. Oh my goodness, that is a sick statue. Oh, and the best girl's right there beside it. Yay. Hiya. Oh, I love her. I'm just enamored with her. Oh, we're at a hotel together. Things are getting interesting. That is a statue, my guy. Oh, I love her, but I really don't want to hear all the details of this story. Uh, it's just going to be a big exposition dump, and with no dialogue spoken or any sort of animations, that's not the most interesting thing on the planet. My guess is that wolf dog and sword dog and shield dog, that's right, there's three dogs in this version of my story, just roll with the punches, it really doesn't matter. I'll only check in if you maybe perhaps check in with me? How long will you attempt to resist my affection, Sonya? I don't just spin for anyone, you know? Okay, it's confirmed. She just said that Leon practically raised him, which means they definitely 100% lived in the same house. So how come he can't find his house from the station? Why is he so stupid? I hate this family. Let me tell you what I love though. The going down the stairs animation, it's very good. Oh boy, there's Team Yell. What's going on? Hey, look, look, I blend right in. Uh, y yeah, Yell. 
Yeah. So imagine you work at Game Freak and you've got an idea to introduce your new team for this game, the evil team that you're going to be seeing a lot of. What do you think is the best way to do that? By having four of them stand there and block a hotel check-in. But here's the catch. Out of those four characters, there's only two models. Why not just have only two characters there instead of four models, two of which are the same? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. Gotta say, I love the way this Zigzagoon looks, though. Very cool. Too bad it's dead. If only Hop could learn that kind of mentality to understand that you're not the best at everything all the time. Oi, give me a break here, eh? Team Yale will get revenge for me, would you? That's my British Cockney impression. Did you enjoy? I don't really know where this game is set, so I apologize if that's not accurate. Dude, that's an epic banner. I love how she's just vertical on it. So I wanted to point out that Cleft... TBCW? Nobody seemed to get that in the comments. That's Cleft the Boy Chin Wonder. Look it up, guys. Only 90 kids will remember. This member of Team Yell just apologized to me. I thought they were supposed to be evil. Like, are they actually trying to stand in my way or not? If you're sorry, then don't do it. I'm already light years ahead of you. First of all, look at you. Second of all, look at me. Visually, I'm light years ahead of you. Second of all, you've never won a Pokemon battle against me ever, which means in terms of skill, I'm also very far ahead of you. They're Team Yell, but there's no voice acting in this game. So he's just miming. Like, some things are okay to mime, but you can't say he's yelling and then have him mime yelling, because I can hear that he's not yelling. Dude, I have to work with Hop, and I've never been more dissatisfied with anything ever. At least he threw out his sheep. So we got that. A sheep versus a fox, man. That's not going to be a problem for the sheep at all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you sad. Please don't be depressed. It's just an animal fight. Oh my goodness. I've seen this girl before. She's all over my Twitter feed constantly. She's got a nice theme for, I guess, having an evil entourage of Team Yell. Whoa, I really misread that for a second right there. To get a bit shirty, I thought that said something else. I didn't realize that that would be the end of the interaction. Watch this drive, hop, my boy. Whoop how! Once you learn to do that, young Miss Doug Dimadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadome. I see that the league has booked a room for you. That's right. Oh my god, this nerd is practicing his Pokeball throw. Oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. You're not gonna beat me. That's not gonna happen. That's right, get out of here. I don't need you to escort me. I can get there myself. But first, I'm going to explore. You don't say. This kid is laughing in Ball Guy's face, man. You gotta be careful. You never know what Ball Guy is thinking. All right, here I am in my uniform. And what's my number? Yep, that's right, baby. Disney 365. No way I saw a Pikachu. That's rare. You don't see Pikachus much. Who is this? Who's this lady? Is this another best girl? Enough of you, Rose. Can we get a, a close up on your buddy there? Because I'm very curious about her. Oh, we got a slow motion crowd coming out. Oh, that's pretty legit. They look pretty sweet. Uh, except for him. He looks like a nerd. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my goodness. This game is just filled with best girl potential. This gym league section is uh, definitely the best part of the game. How they treat it like a huge sporting event. I really enjoy that. And who could it be besides Doug Dimadome? About to just trash all y'all. See, this is sweet. I really like this. Wait, what? Why are we back here with him doing this in front of my face again? I thought we were gonna take on a gym challenger or whatever. So I guess I got pranked. Turns out we have to go to Route 3. I thought we were just gonna be starting the challenge, but turns out we actually just are starting to start the challenge. Oh, I didn't know I could fish. All right, here we go, we're fishing now. Sorry to pull you out of the water to fight you in a field and then murder you. I don't usually do that, I promise. Please come back when you become the champion. Okay, weirdo, by the docks. I'll come back and visit you at the end of this game. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. Why wouldn't you be here, man? And of course, we gotta do the little pose. I really don't wanna fight you anymore. Oh my God, they're gonna make me. And if you say, but why, they push you out of the dialogue tree. Ay ay ay! Here we go! Time to fight the same man for probably what is actually the fifth time. Sure's a good thing he hasn't changed up his strategy whatsoever. Reggie's tiny body is ready to do some damage. Dude, you just pecked a rock. You should know that that's not gonna- That was a critical hit, it did two damage. Oof. On the other hand, I didn't choose to land a critical hit, it was completely random. Why is this man so dumb? I despise you. You're way too optimistic about literally everything. 
Sometimes that can be a charming quality for people to have, but in this case, it just makes me want to see you lose at everything you try. Bro, this wave ain't gonna do anything! I'm a grass type! You're a water type! Spoiler alert, he lost again. Can I give it back? It's really not, though. Whoa! Grass DK is evolving already! I wonder what he's gonna turn into. Now he's looking like he could participate in DK Barrel Blast. I would like to have an owl friend on my squad. That seems nice. Hooray, owl friend! You thought I was kidding? No, I was serious. That's all right, you don't need to tell me what you've been studying. Oh my god, he's holding two sticks. You can't actually show him swing the sticks? The description of this move says it makes the enemy take emotional damage. So it doesn't really surprise anyone when emotional damage turns out to be super effective. Whoa, I thought it was going to be a small amount. That gave him a lot of XP. Good god. Oh my goodness, dude! These candies! They really, really level up your guys fast. Hello, young boy. Why don't we do battle? Oh, Marvin, you are looking a bit cross-eyed there, buddy. Dang, dude, that actually just took one HP. How will I ever recover from that? Wait, are you telling me they gave him a scratch animation that uses the sticks, but they didn't give him a double hit animation that uses two sticks that he's holding? I'm confused. That's a flower. He sent out a flower to fight a bird. And I have a move called Pluck. Not sounding like it's gonna go well for Marvin over here. Yes! I mean, hello, how are you doing? He went a different way. He's a little bit different, if you know what I mean. Thank you, I will treasure it always. Goodbye. I love you. No, it's the bipedal cat! I hate it! It's gross! Get it away from me! Kill it with grass! Is there any consequence for shaking trees more? Because it seems like berries are just mad falling from the ground, which I will take. Oh, a squirrel came out of the tree! That's nothing more than a mild inconvenience. God dang it, I played myself. I'll show you what I carry! Letters and victory! Oh my god, I love him. That's right, Postman Tad. I'm sorry you thought otherwise. Yes! Clef the Boy Chin Wonder is growing! I am so proud! Eventually he'll become the Crimson Chin! What are you? Whoa, whoa! You're aggressively cute. Hello. How's it going? Oh! Oh, my heart! You've stolen it! I'm happy for you, Bon Bon! That's awesome! I hope you and Becca get to go all around the world with each other! You deserve it! God, you're the greatest. See you later. What up, Becca? Don't mind me, I'm just looking at Pokemon with binoculars. This feature of the game has drastically changed my opinion on things. This might have just turned this game into a 10 out of 10 for me. Hey, I kind of dig how this looks. This looks pretty sweet. This game has nice looking stuff. Just the animations aren't really the nice looking stuff. It's usually the backgrounds and the areas and whatnot. This guy's just gonna beat you up with a two by four. Aw, he put it down as he died. It makes me kind of sad for him. Only a little bit though. Yo, we got a little snack of a trainer right here. Oh my gosh, actually, we got a brick lady here. She's buff. Look at her. Oh my god, she's built. Way to go. You know, one of the key pillars of Pokemon is you gotta have multiple Pokemon to cover each other's weaknesses. But literally, ever since the first Pokemon game, they've had enemy trainers running around using three or two of the same Pokemon, and that's always baffled me. I thought you never wanted to talk to me again. Why are you now talking to me? Nice golden watch. Dude, stop that. You don't have the right kind of hair to be doing that. And his Pokemon went down in a single hit. I'm sure he'll be mega humble about it too. Oh, would you look at that? He's not being humble. Who would have guessed? He's got a little bow tie on. It's not gonna stop it from getting consumed by my turtle. I mean, you're losing, but whatever you say there, pal. I wonder what he's gonna say now that he got steamrolled 3-0. I'm excited to hear how he's gonna spin this into him being the greatest somehow. You said you were gonna crush me. What do you mean you weren't trying that hard? He's like online gamers. Um, that's not a Pikachu. That's a boy. What is Game Freak trying to tell me to do here? I think that this is a weird situation, and I'm not proud of being a part of it. Please don't. This Eevee is trolling me with sand attack and pretty eyes or whatever, man, and I'm not a fan of it. Time for you to get in my ball. What the? Get in my ball! Yo, yo, this Eevee. This Eevee is trolling me right now. Stay in the ball! Oh my god, what is with this Eevee, dude? It's wasting all my resources. Oh god, cleft the boy chin wonder, punched it too hard, and it died. Everything went downhill. Can we battle from the other side of this wall? Is that possible? 
Oh my, look at that. It is possible. Oh, Bradley. You using a potion is going to be futile in the end. Because dread it, run from it, your Pokemon will die all the same. Great, now we got a little person dressed up like Eevee. Wait a minute, you're not allowed to break the fourth wall. What are you doing? Game Freak, do I need to call the FBI on you guys? Because I don't like what I'm looking at right here. Don't ask me why I always name my Raichu Sasuke. It's just how it has to go. Well, that's a cute Pokemon, I must admit, but I must murder it all the same. Cute things are not exempt from my theory. What is happening? Dude, did you just let your sheep roll into me? Don't worry, he's mostly fur, it's fine. Just like you're mostly thick boy over here. Where's your neck, dude? I mean, I guess it's under the scarf, but jeez. Your head does not belong on that body, man. Something looks not right. No, I don't want to talk to him. I just want to go past him. No, they wouldn't even let me try to go around him. Yeah, I sure do know all this information you're already telling me again. Oh, what? She is where? Thank God. Where is she? Don't worry, you don't need to show me where she is. I could find her. I can always find her. I'm glad you want to hear what I think. I need to tell you. I'm in love with you. Not only is she like top tier best girl, but she also has a banger of a theme, dude. She's the total package. I enjoy our time together, Sonya. I'd say it's spent very effectively, wouldn't you? Ugh. There he is again. Makes me dread even going down there. All right, let's get this over with. Are we gonna fight again before we go up in here? What? You already got it? How? You suck. I hate you. Of course I can win this one too. I've beaten you every single time we fought. Literally anything you could do, I can actually do it better. Thank God he left. What's up? ball guy. I don't know if I would call us friends exactly, ball guy. I just kind of met you. You have a ball for a head, and now you've given me some balls and are claiming we're friends. I'm not sure about everything in life, but I'm pretty sure that that's not how friendship works. Yes, I will spend $18,000 on a uniform. No, don't judge me. Never trust a man named ball guy. Finally, we are here at the first gym challenge of this journey. The grass gym challenge, man. Am I gonna be hurting sheep? Is this Red Dead Redemption 2? What's happened? Walking in a direction and having these sheep walk in a direction sure is fun. I really don't understand why there's no backgrounds for some of these fights. Like we are just in a green void and it's very weird to me. I wonder if your Pokemon use their moves with all their strength and also feel great. Well, my Pokemon are kept in tiny little balls, so I'm guessing probably they don't feel the best. The show must go on, however, which really means the sheep must go on. I wonder if this will be a one-hit KO. What? It was a one-hit KO! Who would have guessed? Surprise, surprise, I one-hit KO'd her second Pokemon as well. Well, now that the sheep are back where they belong, in captivity, it's time to fight Thick Boy Milo. I did it. I'm trying to walk in a straight line to make myself look as cool as possible, but it's a little bit difficult. Like, I know it's not a soccer field, but it just looks like a soccer field, man. He has six Pokeballs. Is he gonna have six Pokemon? Is he gonna be the first guy that I'm gonna fight in this game with a full team? Let's do it, Milo. I'm ready. Your theme's got me pumped up right now. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did he just throw that Gossiflower out of an Ultra Ball? That's not the Pokemon you want to be using an Ultra Ball on, in my opinion. What? He only has two Pokemon? He's got six balls on his hips. That's an interesting sentence. I guess I might as well Dynamax then. Can't just destroy a man regularly. Gotta destroy him with my big, big Pokemon. I'm a bird. Ah, uh -oh, is what my Pokemon would say in a perfect world. <laughs> that poor little flower destroyed. Well, these weeds aren't very tough, my guy. I hate to break that to you, but I've got some extra strength weed killer in the form of a gigantic bird. Oh, he patted the ball, dude. He's a good boy. Too bad I have to destroy him. Bye-bye. My advice to you would be to have more than two Pokemon on your team. No, it wasn't fulfilling. You suck, and I want a better challenge. Jesus, his monster hand outclasses mine. Is he Gigantamax, Dynamax, big? Is he big? We don't have to shake hands the whole time you're telling me all this exposition. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You know what that whole thing just made me realize is I spent like $18,000 on an outfit that I didn't even get to wear. Which one of you two ripped me off? Scream, my pet. Okay, here we go, off on Route 5, and there's a lady and a man filming the lady. Do you know this man is filming you? Are you consenting to this? Do you need help? Good Gandhi, they're partners. That's Gears. My man just threw out 
Gears as a Pokemon. I didn't know that Gears were a Pokemon. I was aware of Garbage and Sword, but I gotta tell you, I wasn't aware of Gears. Despite it not being very effective, it was still a critical hit, which means that weird looking thing is dead, and my crew has grown stronger. Also, I just want to point out that I did spell Sasuke wrong on purpose down there, but uh, I also misspelled it the way I was trying to spell it. I was trying to spell it Sauce. K, but I wasn't really thinking, and I ended up putting Sousuke, and we're just gonna pretend like that's just as funny. This dude, on the other hand, looks like my uncle that isn't allowed within 10 feet of me. So this is the name that I actually meant to give him, and we gotta add some exclamation marks in there because it's always yelled. Sasuke! Truth be told, I don't know what gym is next, but I'm gonna title this episode The Fire Gym with a question mark because that's a funny joke, right? Because what if it's not? It'd be like, haha, he was wrong. Is that the dude carrying the celery? I don't need another bird on my team, but I do like what he turns into. Don't think I didn't see this ball back here. There's one thing I take notice of, it's balls. Thanks to ball guy. I don't know, man, that sass, that big celery, it's tempting. Look at that face! Oh my god, and he hits you with the celery? And it actually does a pretty decent amount of damage, too. Maybe I should catch him. Oh, good Gandhi, I killed him. My bad. Oi, just hand over the bike already. We need it to cross this long bridge. I promise that's the last time I'll do that accent. Never trust what I promise. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I'd be in your debt. Sure thing, stranger. I'll beat up these guys. Sasuke! Kill this zigzagoon for me and beat the guy who's headbanging in the background. All right, I killed all his animals with my animals. Now give me money. That's what this is all about. Animal fighting for money. Look, I can't be alone in thinking that Team Yell, the worst team. Not that the teams have ever been like groundbreaking or anything, but Team Yell, really? I was too distracted by that bike. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yell o belly like you. You are what is wrong with this society, and you got what you deserved. Why are you running? Oh, and just like that, I'm riding a bike, ladies and gents, and I look terrible while doing it. Why do they have to make me look like such an idiot? I mean, look at this. Look at this. On fleek, on geek. My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. What the hell are you about to show me, dude? <clears throat> uh, Sasuke, use Chidori. Ha! When all else fails, throw a ball at him. That's my motto in real life and in video games. You can imagine I've been arrested many times. If you saw a real, like, hawk thing or whatever fighting a bug, I feel like that would be probably the shortest fight ever. I'd give this game a 10 out of 10 if my bird could just swoop over and eat his bug in one bite. Okay, if I don't catch it on this ball, I'll kill it. Ugh, fine, I'll kill it. I'm a man of my word occasionally. Why did I kind of sound like Zoidberg right there from Futurama? I'm a man of my word occasionally. My guy's evolving. What will he transform into today? Oh yeah, boy, a bigger turtle. Hello, chef in the woods. Please do not cook me up. That's an apple? No, that's an apple. There's a Pokemon that's an apple, dude? Oh my goodness. The apple looked at me, and it hurt. Now there's a sentence. Bro, did I just watch an apple get eaten by a clam? I mean, like, really, is that what this game just made me witness? Honestly, I thought we drew the line when we called the game Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield when there's a Pokemon who's literally a sword and a shield, but here I am fighting an apple. Might as well call the next one Pokemon Apple and Pokemon Pear. Whoa, why is your head so enormous? It's way bigger than mine. Please don't consume my head. Bro, I don't give a shit what Devers about to send out. I'm keeping Quadrupedal Blastoise out. I was wrong. Never assume anything. My life is a lie. Beat my butthole, Debra. Your Pokemon suck and you shouldn't be a trainer. I don't know why Debra has brought out my salt. I'm capturing you just to trade you away. Why won't anything stay in a ball around here? Dude, I don't understand. His health is low as heck. Why can't I capture anything around these parts? You know what happens to things that won't obey me. They die. So y'all better watch out when I tell you to hit that subscribe button. Oh look, it's baby me. Yo, daddy about to beat you up, capture you, and then trade you on the black market. I pray nobody takes my voice clips out of context and uses them against me one day.
No! Oh my god! I only got through one route without seeing your stupid mug, man. No, anything but that. At least he warned me this time, though. Oh, and instantly into the thrust move. He didn't warn me about that. Ugh, I hate that. Time to smack him around a little bit again. Whoa, dude, never would have seen you throwing out the sheep first. It's not like that what you do every single time. I don't even think the XP makes it worth it. He just uses up so much of my time, and his Pokemon's tongue is on my Pokemon. I feel violated. Is it no problem? Because none of your Pokemon have done anything to my Pokemon. I'm sure that's no problem for you, though, because you're the greatest that's ever lived. No, 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 wait a minute. You're actually terrible, and all your Pokemon die in, like, one hit. So... No, you don't have to tell me! Oh, you don't have to say it every time! I hate you. Because you're ass at the game, bro. I keep trying to tell you this, but you never listen. Hey, would you look at that? I had the gym order wrong. Oh, that's gonna make me happy. I'm sticking to my guns, dude. I'm still gonna name this video The Fire Gym. I don't even care. The more wrong I am about things, the funnier it is anyway. I'm just not realizing that that actually wasn't even an entire route without running into Hop. That's impressive. Dang, dude, I didn't even get close before he spotted me. She, that is a woman. I'm sorry. First it was an apple, and now there's literally cherries that I'm fighting. It's clear to me that they've run out of ideas for Pokemon. God, look at its stupid face. It's a cherry with a stupid face. I feel like I have the most random squad in existence right now, and I'm kind of into it. Why is he in boxers in public? They clearly know it's him, so it's not a disguise. My man just in his boxers. Oh, and he's aggressively trying to give out his Pokemon League card. That's all right, man. Why don't you go put on some pants? Olina? Oleana? Don't know her name, but... Ooh! I like that design. He's got the dad bod going on, man. Like, real dad bod. Look at that gut. Put some pants on. I really feel like this is the new way to flex on people. Just enter their home and do a fancy spin and pose combo. Well, I didn't know I could sit on the bench. Good to know that this game and Mario Odyssey have something in common. Being that this is the water gym, I think it might be a quality time to put Sasuke up into the front. But of course, of course, I have to run some dumb errand before I can actually do what I came here to do. Classic RPG, am I right? Okie doke, garter choke, I'm at the lighthouse. Let me in. Oh wait, she's right here, I'm stupid. I have? Well, shoot. Thanks, I'm not gonna do anything weird with this for sure. What up, ball guy? I don't really know how I feel about you, but you're pretty funny. You trying to lure me somewhere with balls, man? Not cool, ball guy, or cool, depending on how hard you party. Yo, ball guy, I don't know about that dance, man. I don't know if you should be doing that at me. I'm not 100% comfortable with this, though I like it better than Hop's little move. Pokeballs are full of surprises, much like you, ball guy. Is that hair on your ball head? What species are you? Yo, 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 we got watery warp pipes up in here. What is the puzzle here? It couldn't be the same puzzle as in every water themed Nintendo dungeon thing, right? Where you gotta change the water levels or turn some water on and or off. That couldn't be it. What? It is it? Who would have thought? It's amazing. Oh my God, I'm amazed. Why does that remind me of the villain from Shark Boy and Lava Girl? The one that George Lopez was? I really love her face for some reason. Look at how determined she is. It's so funny. Why, <laughs> why is it so funny? Oh my God. Okay, class. What's the quickest way to get a crab out of your way? That's right. Electrocute the shit out of it. Crab and a lobster. Not that it makes a difference how we kill it because I see you. Zap. <laughs> Oh my god, look at her face, it's so doofy. Do I have the AOL man on my shirt? How am I just noticing this? No, I didn't wash my hands when I went to the bathroom earlier. And yes, we are gonna have a handshake after this. Sue me, you ignoramus. I've mastered grass and now I will master water. I'm turning into the avatar himself or herself, whichever. The time has come for an epic battle where I surely won't just Gigantamax one Pokemon and steamroll. On the bright side, we get another look at the waifu. Waifu wars, man. Pokemon's got some strong contenders for them. Still hate how our shadows are just X's. That's stupid looking. But I gotta say, you know what's not stupid looking, baby? You. Get it, guys? Please subscribe, dude. I'm hungry. I love you. What? Wait, what? Sorry. I didn't say anything. Are we fighting now? Oh! 
I think something's changed in me. If you're not big, what are you even doing? Small boys, get away! It's thick boy time! Guys, do you think the Goldeen survived that? Because I gotta say, I don't think it did. This will probably be my last jutsu. Now, disappear with a thunderclap! I really, really don't even care how nerdy that was. That felt so cool, dude. You're much bigger than me, and I'm all right with that. Dynamax wink. Ugh. You can't see my face, but I winked. It was a big wink. Oh, oh, do you see that? Look at that. Fire's next. That means my title won't be completely incorrect. Oh yeah, coming here was definitely the right idea. Oh yes. I get to sit next to her too. This is the best. It's like we're on a date. Hold up, hold up. We're at a seafood restaurant. Do people eat Pokemon? I've literally never questioned this until just now. Dude, she's so pretty. Oh my God. Did he just say a power spot detector? That's the device that let me locate the power spots. Oh, I love this game. Let me leave this building without running into hop. God damn it. I thought you weren't gonna talk to me, man. What do we agree on? Leave me alone. This is harassment. Well, I've already beaten you once, and I'm guessing you're gonna lose right here, so you better start conceiving it, my dude. Here, I'll save you guys the trouble on this one. <clears throat> boom, bop, pow, bada bop, boom, pow. Why is this guy just peak gamer culture? Online gaming culture, specifically? My Pokemon is bursting with energy. What I mean to say is, please battle me. Help, police. Just give me anybody but this guy constantly. I've already got his much cooler, much older brother on my team. Crocky, that's really something. Wait, are they Australian? Have I been doing the wrong accent this whole time? No, I don't need your help. My man always uses tackle with Wooloo as his first move. Nothing ever changes about his strategy. Hop is currently landing a super effective move, and I'm surprised he's not saying anything about it. I love how when he attacks, you can see his little fist pop up in the corner. Right there. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and you lost? That's not even, that's just dumb. You are using a horn, it's in your hands. You're a traitor and a scoundrel. Let's see if anybody got that reference. Nice. No, there he is. Yeah, the perfect opponents to train against if you're trying to lose, you dingus. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. Positively extreme, don't you know? That's how he sounds in my head. I don't want to talk to you any more than we've already engaged for this encounter. Every single time, man. Stop pulsating near me. Coffee! That's my coughing impression. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good, personally. Here's my wheezing impression. Wheezing! Ooh, that was so good. I'm Madam Caroline, suck my wiener. I mean, cut that out of the video. You've made quite the mistake by calling out Clef the boy chin wonder. He'll smack you good. Doesn't matter what kind of dog you are. He's a loose cannon. Go, Sasuke, use the Sharon gun. Ah, right in the kisser. You done fainted in one hit. Never square up with me ever again, chumpo. I'll have you know that one time I took on an entire ladybug all by myself. And I came out a okay. You don't want to scrap with me, buster. Police officer Raymond, I'm gonna have to ask you to tone down the enthusiasm just a smidge. How are you also here? You're everywhere. Are you God? Oh, the long sleeves are kind of cute, not gonna lie. Well, now I don't want to beat you, because I actually do kind of like you. Come on, man, are you serious? I thought you already went inside. Or are you just sitting out here to tell me you already did it, because you're the best ever? Don't call me slow, you're pissing me off immediately. Don't tell me what to do, I'm going in there right now anyway. Why don't you go disappear, evaporate even? Hey, wouldn't you know it? I said that this wasn't a gym, but it is a gym. Why are you in here? You just left, I thought. Not only was I right a while ago, this is the fire gem, but this episode is also properly titled, despite the question mark in it. That's a win-win if I've ever seen one. I'm not gonna give you the chance, stupid. Look, I could catch a Vulpix, but what on earth would be the point of that when I know my fire Pokemon's gonna be Charizard, the dragon Charizard. I hope I triggered somebody by saying that. As sure as I'll do whatever it takes to fit a JoJo reference into my video, I've completed the fire gym challenge. Now it's time. Yaddy, yaddy. There you go. I've met my quota. Oh, gotta fix my hair. Gotta go out there with confidence. Oh, he's right there. 
Kabu power. I'm sorry. That's offensive, probably. Look here, Kabu. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna do anything different other than make my one Pokemon with super effective things grow big and attack your whole entire squad. Fire when ready. You what? Oh my god, did you see that intense anime flash in his eyes? This man lives and breathes fire, and that is a humongous centipede. Ball guy! He's on the monitor back there! Job well done. We've humiliated a man. In public. He's literally on his hands and knees in front of hundreds. And he's immediately back up. Nice. Look at him jog over here. What a strange little man. He's like, I never let go of my sports towel because I'm never not doing sports. Except all the time because my Pokemon do all the work. Good gracious, why are you still here and... What is wrong with that man? Is he having a stroke back there? And of course, I can't exit the gym without, you know, running into Hop. He is inevitable, if anything, man. Don't raise that arm, you're in danger. You're in danger of demonetizing me. Yeah, I'll take a uh, things insane people say for 200, Alex. He's doing it to the whole wild now. He's a madman, he can't be stopped. Hop is inevitable, dude. Welcome back, boys and girls, to what the hell is this guy? Very strong looking clay doll, huh? Well, guess what, buddy boy? I got myself a Lizard Dawn. All right, there's a few things that you guys ought to know about me and Pokemon. So my history with the game, what the hell is that over there, by the way? So my history with this game is I know basically next to none of the Pokemon. I played Gen 1 and that's about it for the longest time. That's right, I'm a freaking Gen 1 purist. So you know that I mean it when I say, is that a flying saucer with legs? You can know I mean it when I say that Charizard literally is the best Pokemon of all time, followed by Gengar. And since the last time I played, uh, my team looks somewhat a little bit different. If you can notice, they are all dragons because dragons, yes, Charizard is a dragon. Dragons are the best. So huge thanks to a few people from my Discord, Crispy Bacon, Kyo Fates, and Jetpack Turtle. They helped me assemble this epic squad Squad, so shout outs to them. Oh, you're so scary. You're a crab that literally has a boulder on its back. Whatever will I do? How is fire not that effective on a tree? He's a tree! I really feel strongly that a tree should catch on fire. How about you allow me to slap you in the face? Huh, sucker? Get out of my way, more like. You doubt Hop will be coming? Did you kill him? Is he gone? That'd be nice. Whoa, no way, man. You're blowing my mind. There's no way Hop could have lost. It's not like he loses every single time to me. I'm still staring at where he was standing, but he's not standing there anymore, making me look like a weirdo. I really don't care who you're meeting or where you're going. Thank you for defeating Hop. I pray that he doesn't show back up. Trying to see if there's anything I can do before I have to experience more of the plot. But it's not looking like it, so hit me with that plot. Why is this dude allowed to go into public like this? I have strong feelings that he should definitely be arrested wearing an outfit like that in public. Oh, I didn't know the back of her jacket is open down the middle. That's a weird design. Maybe it's a stripe. I can't tell from here. Go away, boxer boy. He really just handed me his tablet, which has a whole doodle about how energy is collected from this place. I don't care, dude. I'm just trying to fight my animals against other people's animals. What did you just whisper to him? Did you just make fun of my outfit? I'll kill you if that's what you did. I suppose I'm not supposed to be here, but at least we got Ball Guy here, who's keeping quite the eye on me. What's up, ball guy? Level ball. What does the level ball do, ball guy? Educate me. What is this animation, man? I swear a ball guy has the best animations in this whole game. That's why some Pokemon aren't animated. All the budget went into animating ball guy. They really don't let you get that far in this game without throwing some story at you. Well, that's just probably because he realized how terrible he is. Well, he loses to everyone, so I think that that's a fair statement. Lost! And look at the time! Great! Now this guy sounds like Stewie in my own headcanon. Oh no! I spy a clothing shop! So, I've seen a few people point out that my character kind of looks like like Kasumi from Persona 5 The Royal. And let me tell you, I would make the hair red, but that is not the right color red, dude. That's pink at best. Doug Dimidome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome, young Miss Doug Dimidome, if you please. Please don't refer to yourself as the mighty Raihan, dude. That's only gonna make your defeat by a child seem that much more pathetic. I already knew that. I'm here to visit the vault. I love how sassy both of these answers are. I'm just gonna disregard him. He's already got a high enough idea of 
himself as it is. You don't really have to do that. I don't want it. Well, thank you, sir. Ah, uh, yes, but the best part of the story. It always points me in the direction of the best girl. Also, there's only, what, three pictures in this vault? That's not much of a vault, if you ask me. Oh, there's four, my mistake. Either way, this is still dumb and feels like it belongs in a Zelda game, not a Pokemon game. But hey, I'll stare at dumb tapestries with you all day, every day, Sonya. It's whatever you want. They really just outdid themselves on her design. Look at how cute she is. Oh. God, it hurts. Now that's more than all right. You can bounce literally whatever you want off me any day of the week. In the end, it always comes down to this, doesn't it? Man, I sure do miss when I got to play the game. Those were good times, weren't they? Everyone knows that Route 6 leads on to that good old town. I'm gonna take my Pokemon to the old town road. I'm gonna, uh, I don't wanna finish that sentence. Okay, we're on a bridge. No hop, no hop. Ah! Oh, okay. No, it's not hop, we're good. Okay, but you see where the problem is there, right? It's that you won't shut up. Oh, sudden old woman. What is happening? They're nice? Sometimes? I don't get these people or their purpose. No! <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna be you. Ugh. At least so far he hasn't pulsated at me yet. That's a good sign. Uh-oh, Stunky. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, I'm not quite sure that your skunk is a match for my fire-breathing dragon here. So when I first got this new team, I made the mistake of giving literally every candy I had to my Charmander at the time to make him a Charizard. And as a result, the rest of my team got pretty hard neglected. I must say, it warms my heart to see him in such a stink. <laughs> Look at him hanging over, dude. He's like a little sad ragdoll. Please stop this. As a Gen 1 fan, I know where this can lead. Still no pulsating, and he's admitting that he got his ass kicked, despite never admitting it when I beat him. But now this one, this one affects him for some reason. But you lose every time! It's like talking to a brick wall that pulsates at you. This is an epic camera angle if I've ever seen it. I think you can be weak all on your own, buddy. I don't think you have to worry about dragging the champion's name down. If by taking some time to figure things out, you mean going home and never seeing me again, I can get on board with that. Why am I being forced to watch this man slither away? Can I just play the game? Now there's this old lady here, man. <laughs> Trust me, lady. That's one thing that you probably at your age would not want to see. Why? Pokemon, why, Game Freak? Why are you making me watch her walk away? So I have nicknames already for most of these guys, as you can see, but I don't have a nickname for good old Trapinch or Duraludon. So down in the comments, tell me what I should call these two units, and I might pick one of the names that I see, if they're good or funny. Ooh, I see a ladder. You know what that means, boys. Correct. Time to fight a cactus is what that means. Dotun, Doryuhegi. <laughs> That's another Naruto reference for you. No, I will not stop. Ah, uh, yes, the famed ladders of the Pokemon game, otherwise known as a JoJo reference. For those of you who tell me in the comments down below, Oh, Charizard's not a dragon, he's fire type. Ugh. Well, guess what? Is that thing right there scorpion type? I don't think so, but it's still a scorpion now, isn't it? Like, I don't really know how this guy qualifies as dragon, but he does. And I'm pretty sure that Charizard is more of a dragon than he is. Unless your guys' definition of dragon is block of steel. Okay, wait, 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 <laughs> wait a minute. This dude is made of steel. Yeah, he doesn't have wings, but he's made of steel and he can't learn this. But Charizard, yeah, his regular wings can turn into steel. I gotta do a mercy kill on this thing. It just is too ugly to let live. More evidence that Charizard is a dragon is he can use a move called Dragon Breath. And I know he can also use a move called Steel Wing and he's not made out of steel, but... Just give it to me, okay? This means something to me. You might be thinking, Desbug, you can't set everything on fire. And my response to that is, stick around. I'm full of surprises. Is this gonna be the Diglett cave on steroids? Because I sure hope not. My God, this man is insane. If I beat him, there's a high chance he might literally kill me. He's not facing my direction, but he's definitely looking at me, you can tell. These are meant for me. I found a secret meeting of adorable Diglets, and I could not feel more blessed. Hello again! Nope! See you later. Don't need to complete the game that badly. Maybe I can just sneak around him. Ah! I can't, they won't let you. Or, alternative idea, you could move to Canada, start up a self-run turnip shop, 
and see where that takes you. And yet here we are once again, about to fight the same stupid guy for the 30th goddamn time. I don't want to help you win. I don't want to help you do anything. I want to get away from you. Isn't this bird water? Shouldn't you be trying to use water against my fire? It's no wonder you lose to everybody you meet, man. You, you didn't earlier when you had the chance. Oh, critical hit. Whoa, I'm hop. I suck. That's how I feel about him. At least he's finally acknowledging the fact that he's probably not gonna win for once. All right, I'm about to head out. Oh, he's also about to head out though. How unfortunate for me. Oh, hello, I'm back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. No, don't even try to blame it on your mindset. You're so worthless. Why can't you just realize that you're actually just terrible? You did not. You let what happened happen. What are you talking about? You're an insane man. No, he pulsated. Get him out of here. Oh, why are you always just standing right there? You're so freaky. I didn't let you do anything. You just kind of did it. And that's not a gift. I didn't want that. Here I go again. I'm off at breakneck speeds. Why must I sacrifice fashion for speed? I just want speed all the time. Fancy meeting you here, except it's not because you're everywhere. All right, what killer animation are you going to do for me today, ball guy? Nice. Uh, hello? Persona 4? The backside of the TV much? So they turned the Disney teapot ride into a minigame. They called it a gym challenge, but no one ever said it'd be difficult. And as I get punched around in the spinning teacup ride, I have to wonder, what part of this qualifies as a gym challenge? Considering literally anybody, including a child, could do this. Gotta say, definitely the, my least favorite gym mission so far. Or maybe slightly above hurting sheep. She's not wearing shoes. That's a power move, and I'm all about it. Okay, game really does have some good designs, doesn't it? Ah, uh, my big energy is ready. But when will I release the big energy? Maybe this time I'll actually save it. Look at this guy. Look at his little dances. And he's dead. At least he died doing what he loved. You may have giant vegetables for weapons, or whatever they are, but I have a giant dragon. Something that nobody can withstand. Goodbye, sir fetched. They're gonna be fetching you one of those cars that carries caskets. I don't know what it's called. It would have been more clever of a joke if I did, but I don't, so let's move on. She's got some big energy and some big hair, and I'm a fan of both. Oh, okay. I thought she was reaching for some place other than that for a moment. That's my fault. My brain was slightly in the gutter, I'll admit. Thank you for inspiring an internet search later on tonight when nobody's looking. Now this is what I want to be greeted with when I'm done with the challenge. This, that, her. Mm! I don't know what's going on up there, but I can tell you what's going on down here. <laughs> Uh, got him. Take your gamer energy and your whining somewhere else. I don't care at all about it. Ooh, that's a nice amount of money right there. For one thing, you're facing the wrong way. For another thing, I'm better than you. I was the chosen one, says the most conceited man on the planet. How do we get him and hop? Oh, thank God he put on some pants. Did you stand in front of a Pokemon simple beam? Holy hell, what a burn. Oh my God, I smell tacos. Young Bead, I'm finally in pants. What do you think? Huh, this is a pretty tasteful camera angle. I agree with it. It's not the most ethical thing I've ever seen. Yep, she's remembering. She's doing some thinking, bro. She's putting all the puzzle pieces together. It wasn't humans, but... Dogs! She's got it. You look interesting to me. I don't care about the rock statue. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. Like, okay, thanks, but you don't really need to stand in a forest and shout that at me when I approach. I have Dig, but I'm flying, so what's that gonna look like? This game is pure gold, I swear. What the hell was that animation? What was that supposed to represent? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry. Hold the phone. Stop the presses. Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. That's inappropriate, Nintendo. Good gracious. That's actually really pretty. Would you look at that? There are pretty things that do exist in this game. God, this place is gorgeous. Can this just be the rest of the game? You're gonna want to watch out for the whole internet too, because they're also coming after you, if you know what I'm saying. Oh no, ball guy gave me a love ball. What does that mean? Please don't mean what I think it means. It wasn't a proposal or confession of ball guy's love. Thank God. Well, they don't actually let me choose what I wear right here, so I can't really control that. You know, I actually don't really know what's good against fairies, or what fairies are good against for that matter, so I'm just gonna set it on fire. I literally just said I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's steel because poison sounds ridiculous. Oh, I was right. You've got to be absolutely joking me. Those are so similar. Who even cares what the last person was named? Can there be a different model this time? 
Nope, we just have the third of the same model. They really could not be bothered to make more than one model for this gym. That looks like somebody's bad Sonic OC. I don't like it at all, and I do intend on killing it with fire. How the hell am I supposed to know what you eat for breakfast every morning? These are just guesses at this point. I'm glad that I got that random arbitrary question right. Time to attack your animal with my block of steel. Now that we've pushed on through the trivia round, it's time to destroy an old lady with a giant chunk of steel. Deal. It'll be just like the summer of 2015. She's literally asleep. Wait a minute. Is she even alive? Someone check her pulse. I've gotten a good look at how you've handled those quizzes, and I just have to say, I don't know what the point of any of this is. I shouldn't even be here. The early bird special is starting. Look at how slow she is. They don't even want to show you how slow she is. They're like, nah, don't worry about it. She's slow. She's still walking. Oh my god. You're about to get forked, Missy, and I don't see any utensils around here. I don't know about you. That's disgusting. Don't vomit fairy wind in my face. Stop asking me questions. We're going to cut to the chase right now and make my block of steel a really, really big block of steel. All the better to crush old ladies with. And here comes a giant fist. <laughs> Holy God, that was a big fist, dude. My morning tea is finally kicking in. Your doom is near, you fool. Oh God, she really does intend to end my existence here and now. I brought some cake, you stupid idiot. It's poisoned though, so don't eat it. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. You lack pink. You stupid fool! Now meet your demise as I send you to a cakey grave! How am I so- Alright, this one's actually pretty obvious. Come on, I got it right! This lady's cheating! Somebody put a stop to her! Oh, she just kobe that umbrella. She yeeted it, dude! You're so slow and old, and also a little bit senile, and the umbrella's magically back around her arm. She has the force. So maybe I should stop messing with her. What is up with this close-up on my face for no reason? Get the camera away. A little bonus from an old lady. Not only do you not want to hear that sentence, but a little bonus from an old lady, not something I need. And I'm off to go make sure the world is safe from Thanos. And of course, the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to Desbug. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. I'm always selling out for those subs. See you next time, idiots. Jesus Christ, Zoe, just freaking step on me, please. The journey continues, and it is immediately stopped by somebody or other. To be expected at this point, though? Uh, no. Damn it. Fine, yes. Though this better just be a fast travel thing and not a gotta escort an old lady type of deal. Why do you have to be so slow all the time? So I saw this one suggested a lot, and it just seems so right. So thank you guys for bringing it to my attention. And I'm not sure if I saw this one as well, but I feel like it's fitting enough. Now with my team all named, the journey can really, really get into high gear. Thank you all in the comments of the last Pokemon video for helping me figure out what to name my Pokemon this time around. Hello friend, have you chilled out now? Wow, look at that, I beat the old lady. Who would have thought? Oh God, and now she's staring at a young boy. Am I gonna have to report you, old woman? Because I won't hesitate. Oh my God! Okay. She's just touched his face. Uh, I don't know if I approve of this old woman's methods. Jesus, she's terrifying. Don't go with this woman, man. You don't know where she's gonna take you. Oh my God, look at that. That is not something you wanna follow. I don't know though. It kind of looks like he's into it. Maybe I should just see myself out. Wait, why did you bring me here if I had just have to go somewhere else? What was the point of that? Okay, it doesn't look like there's any sign of hop yet. Oh, but people are just appearing. Oh, look at that. Best girl has appeared. I'm all for popping if it pops in the best girl. They really like to upskirt her, don't they? Even though she's not wearing a skirt. Ugh, the crafty, crafty fellows over at Game Freak. Mm, it was more like an explosion, but I'm glad you and your short shorts can run up here and tell me what I already know. I mean, why even bring it to my attention if you're not even gonna have me deal with it? Hello there. No, I see him in the background. He just appeared. Ugh, be gone, demon. I banish thee. It didn't work. Bro, does this one town have three Poke Centers in it? How bad could I be? Alrighty, time for the obligatory battle with Hop. I know it's coming, so just give it to me straight. I wonder if he's gonna point out whenever a super effective hit happens. Oh my god, that's a tree. Hey, respect for mixing up the team, man. Like, I don't think it's gonna do anything for you, but 
I respect it. All of Kiryu's animations are just the one arm raise. Okay, I guess Mothra isn't gonna get to play either. That's fine. Here he comes in with the comments about the super effective, man. Never gets old. Definitely necessary for him to do every single time. Man, the squad just leveled up. We're getting bigger out here. Damn, boy. He thick, boy. That was probably the best animation I've seen so far. Why you gotta do that to the Snorlax, man? I don't wanna fight it all over again, but here we go, I'm fighting it all over again. So I don't really know the names of all these Pokemon, so I didn't know that I should've switched when he threw out Blue Guy, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think I could just brute force it with Charizard, since Charizard is literally the greatest Pokemon of all time. Look, I just want Gooigi on the front lines. He's a small gooey boy, and he needs to experience what it's like to battle. There you go, Gooigi, you pulsate at him. That's my boy. Oh no. Gooigi died. Really? Because when you lost to the other guy, you got depressed, so it would seem like you're the kind of guy who gets depressed in these situations. But what do I know? I'm not the guy throwing out a tree against a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Like, it's okay, I suck, but I'm still really good. Like, the duality of man is strong with Hop. You keep doing that, you're never gonna get anywhere, son. Maybe jail. Uh, hello? Notice me. God, notice me! What does it take to get some attention around here? Jeez. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you don't want to throw out a small bug against a giant metal boy. Could you imagine how terrified people would be in real life if a spider like that existed? Though I suppose if half the stuff that exists in Pokemon existed, I'd be pretty terrified too. Oh, okay. They're literally, what, just yelling so much that I can't move past? I guess. Why do you look like a freaking jet pilot more than a taxi driver? Oh god, he's activated his Sharingan. He's ready for the next attack. Being that my whole team is comprised of dragons, I actually have a lot of very similar moves across my Pokemon. It's not about move variety in my opinion, it's about what Pokemon you like best. That's like the whole point of Pokemon. And hey, if anything, it's just making me more like the gym leaders who all use the same kind of Pokemon, right? Don't come any closer. That's right. Get out of my way. What the hell, is that the sun floating over there? That's weird, I didn't know the sun was a Pokemon. Please don't approach me, Mouse. I realize that I can't cook and you can, but please leave me alone. I don't want to learn. Damn, Joanna's smug as hell, dude. She already thinks this battle is decided. Go, my baby, eat the flower, become stronger. Don't really worry about the fact that that flower is in fact another living thing, just consume it. Dude, what is somebody gonna grow, man? I feel like these guys have been babies for a long ass time. Oh, speak of the devil, he's finally deciding to grow. Axe Jaw Pokemon. Oh, that's a sick name. After battle, this Pokemon carefully sharpens its tusks on river rocks. Oh my god, he's a freaking badass. Whoa, 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 what are you doing with that? Dude, whoa, that was pretty scary. What is that thing down there? Look at him, look at him march. Oh my god, that's adorable. It kind of reminds me of the Wigglers in Odyssey, the colorful Wigglers, you know what I'm talking about? You're telling me this is a steel type move that uses a sharp horn and my boy Kiryu can't learn it. He is a horn, his whole body is one big horn. Oh, of course his name is Girder. Get it? Cause he's called it a Girder. Your rocks are no match for my steel body. I have a body made of iron, which is what you carry. Be gone, I say. You don't belong in this world. Is this a bell right here? Is that what I'm fighting? What the hell did he just do to me? Wow, I actually really love him. If my team wasn't already full, I'd probably be using him. Well, you know what they say, if you're not gonna make it your slave, then burn it? I don't feel good about what I just said. Can I take it back? Come on, Barbara, let's see what you got. Is that a freaking Dreepy? I never heard of a Dreepy. Have you heard of my policy of setting all my enemies on fire though? Please stop, you're already beefy enough. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. Barbara. Look, I don't feel proud about this, but I will kill it with my Charizard. I do what I must to play this game at some sort of leisurely pace, okay? Man, that thing's awfully adorable. I'm sure it'll be even cuter when it's lit ablaze. I kind of really like this hippo guy. Well, I did until he used the force on my Pokemon. My man just took a selfie in the middle of a sandstorm? What a baller. Can I really set something so cute on fire? I think you all know by now the answer to that is yes. Nothing like having a police officer fight you with his animal in a hailstorm. Haha, <laughs> fun. If only I cared 1% about what Pokemon you were sending out, I'm just gonna set it on fire, dude. Uh, 
squad. We got a 1014. My dog's been lit on fire by a giant dragon owned by a child. Oh, hell yeah. Gooigi about to get bigger. All right, well, he's not as cute as he once was, but that's okay though, because we know what he turns into next is actually pretty cool. We all have that awkward middle phase after all. Yo, Pokedex entries make Pokemon sound wild, man. Its body is coated in a caustic slime that can melt through anything, anything. That's crazy. I hereby declare that this little guy right here must be protected. Nobody come after him, he's too cute. That thing on the other hand is an abomination and has my permission to die. This town is freaking gorgeous, man, I love it. Some of the towns in this game actually look very, very good. It's kind of surprising, considering most of the game just looks freaking terrible. I don't know what I'm doing in this hotel exactly, but here I am in a hotel. I guess I'll go into someone's room. Sure, there's a lot of people in this specific hotel room. And so far, I've been pretty happy with how I look from just the beginning, man. I don't know, I really like the default dress. I hope that at some point I find something better. Man, take a look at that. I made it to the town's gym and Hop is nowhere in sight. I guess it really is possible for me to enter a gym without seeing him first. I really, really should have known better. They wouldn't let me off the hook that easily. They hit me with the double whammy. They put him here before I could do what I actually came here to do, and he's pulsating at me. At some point, I'll stop being surprised, and it'll just be seething rage left. At least I have my shining light in the darkness that is Ball Guy. God, I love you, Ball Guy. Hit me with your animation of the day, please. Crying sad Ball Guy? It's not what I was expecting. A little bit of a downer, don't you think? I find it a little weird that this isn't like ice themed, given how it's in a snow town, but I guess it's okay because I'm holding what looks like little squirt guns. Dude, look at my eyeballs. I do not even know what these are for. I feel that. Visible pitfalls, man, that sounds kind of dangerous. I know these gym challenges are literally just gimmicks, but I gotta say, this one seems to be the most gimmicky of them all. Is there even a penalty for falling? Like what, you have to go back? Boo freaking who? You can literally just get them all wrong and then it'll expose the true way to go. Fun gimmick though. I like how it's based around completely wasting your time. God, I can't describe enough how much I love this. Oh great, now I have to do it without being able to see. Fun, quality game. Who approved of this garbage? This is so stupid and terrible. Failure opens your eyes to things you couldn't see before. You know, like giant frickin' pits that you've fallen into. And now it's not Sandy all of a sudden, I guess. Sure thing, man, sure thing, Pokemon. Whatever you say, buddy. Super, super fun gimmick, dude. That is a brick house of a boy. Like, he's not even particularly buff, he's just shaped kind of squarely. Fighting animals isn't something one usually takes pleasure in, but this is gonna put a smile on my face. God, that's a lot of fire. It is one gooey boy's time to shine. He's the only one on my squad with a water move, and he can take down what looks to be Stonehenge. We're not just gooey up in here. We're big and gooey, man. Can you handle this amount of goo? You know, despite being Dynamax, he's actually really not all that big. That doesn't make the laser any less devastating, though. How does it feel to lose to a gooey snail boy, man? Oh, he's still rather cool. Okay, but it's actually depressing speech. I love the juxtaposition of him looking so calm and collected and just being like, yeah, I really want to die. You're telling me that Pokedex-wise, this thing's bigger than Charizard? Look, I got a bone to pick with that, man. Everybody's barking at me. Oh, Charizard's only five foot whatever in the Pokedex. This is why I say Pokedex doesn't matter because I can literally have Charizard and Flygon next to each other and I guarantee you Charizard's gonna be bigger despite it telling me in the Pokedex that he's smaller. Just proves that Pokedexes don't mean nothing. No freaking way, dude. Neither of these dudes are taller than Charizard. This is what I'm talking about. You can't trust the height entries in the freaking Pokedex. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Look at this. He's tiny compared to him. Well, hold up. This snake is seven foot three. What the hell? That's a big snake. Hello, my darling. You are always a sight for sore eyes. Hell yes. That's like a date. I will go there with you. No, nobody's said anything about this dork being here what the hell are you kidding me is that just conveniently in this restaurant look at this guy over here he's just like uh are you guys gonna order anything or just look at the picture on the wall i know what he's talking about but i kind of want to say that i don't just to troll him but since sonia's really the one asking for the information i guess i'll be helpful uh sonia happy makes me happy the world is at peace 
No! Not the butt rock and the pulsating. I don't want to fight you anymore. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, give Hob a chance. He gets better. I've been playing this game for a long time and he hasn't gotten any better. It's literally one to six and you don't have to talk out of your ass about how you're going to win considering you literally never win. Oh my God, Hop, stop using scary face. You're already faster than me by default. That does nothing. How are you going to steal back this win if you don't actually use an attack? You'll never beat me. Your truth lies only in the darkness. Scarlet, you probably shouldn't be kissing balls. This is a Nintendo game after all. I don't know if they're gonna allow that. Don't really know how to end videos properly when they end before I expect them to, so subscribe and next time we'll find out why Marnie's calling me behind the back of an abandoned building. Surely it'll be a good idea to follow her. All right, all right, all right. Let's go meet somewhat of a stranger behind an abandoned building and see what she wants. I'm sorry, you were what here? Oh yeah, we got the classic yelling slash not yelling because they couldn't be bothered with voice acting squad. Doesn't make it awkward at all when seen in motion. Marnie's theme is a banger though. I'm not even gonna try to lie purred about it. Heh, <laughs> Jesus, please do. I mean, you're not gonna beat me. Who would have thought that an earthquake from a dragon would be super effective on a little hamster guy? It truly boggles the mind. These big brain plays that I'm pulling out here. I hate that this guy is like pulling up his pants or something. I don't know what he's doing. He's wearing pants and it is weird for a Pokemon to wear pants, I think. Pants or no pants, it won't protect him from death. I learned that the hard way once. Oh, I know a thing or two about riling women up. And you can quote me on that right to the FBI. More like they stood no chance against my squad of undefeatable dragons. And yes, that includes Charizard, don't you forget it. Oh sure, sure, your partner has been interested. I get it, you want me, but my heart belongs to Sonya. All right, little back alley groovy town, man. Or I guess grunge is their thing, kind of like punk rock. I dig it. Not as much as the illuminated mushroom town, but it's got a good vibe. Look at the boys, man. They are growing up fast. Can't wait for them to be as big as they can possibly be. Is that a really big paperclip on this guy's back? What kind of item is that? They all have it. Why do they all have paperclips on their back? What a weird thing. Wapow. Well, doesn't matter really where I am. They don't let you get very far without running into somebody. I'm okay with running into her, I guess, because they haven't overused her yet, but I really hope I don't run into Hop here as well. I guess it's already my gym mission time? Because they put me in my outfit. Oh, gee, how philosophical of you. I can't believe you're only a Team Yell grunt. They should rename you to Team Yell Scientist. I'm afraid I have to set your badger thing on fire. No hard feelings. It's just business around these parts. I can't believe after all these years, Pokemon is still using the whole enemy team with the one Pokemon thing. Like, come on, everyone has six by now, and why not throw more at me? There was even two people just then, but they only had one of them battle me. What is this, some kind of dumb joke, dude? Get out of my way! You literally already let me walk right past you, so I don't much know what you're talking about. X marks the spot, I'm gonna shoot fire. Although I guess you'll just have your animal take the hit for you, which, hey, I'm about that too in this world, so no judgment. Um, I don't know if I want outrage or not. Also, nice on the special defense. And that was disgusting. I never want to see Mr. Mime walk ever again in my life, please. Are they gonna jump out of the window? Oh my god, they jumped out of the window. I also like all the crashing noises and sound effects, even though they clearly just landed right next to me. If he holds his pants things up when he's fighting, why don't they fall down when he faints? Not that I like want to see that or anything, but it's just logical. It doesn't make sense for them to stay up once he's let go. Not that I really need logic in my game about animals that fit into little balls and fight each other with magical abilities, but hey, I'm a realist. Bro, are you kidding me? I already saw that this was a big fat phony baloney thing. Now I have to just walk back this way to have some people backflip into frame? What is going on in here? Whoa, one single Pokemon, bro. Never would have seen that one come in. It's almost like they've been doing it for over 20 years at this point, dude. Game's really innovative though, that's for sure. And they're off. I don't know why they keep throwing two people at me and only having me fight one, but they've also forced me to watch Mr. Mime run away again. So truly their malice knows no bounds. Oh, hey, look at that. This time I actually have to fight two of them at the same time, which makes sense because there was two people and now I can battle both of them. Bro, you know my block of steel is upset when he freaking uses the power of the Rinnegan to focus down. And once that happens, you do not want to get in his way. Trust me. I like how quickly the whole gym challenge thing just devolved into fighting multiple battles against trainers, just kind of like regular gyms. They really didn't keep the charade of the whole 
whole gimmick thing up for very long. And that's not to say they've all been bad. I really, really enjoyed the fire one. That was a good one. Okay, the gym leader of the hooligans that have been trying to stop people from participating in the gym challenge, man. I'm sure he's a real honorable guy. Why are you having this guy pantomime sing when there's no voice acting? Why would you do that? It looks so terrible. Why not just add in voice acting like why specifically make a character who is a singer if you know you're not gonna put voice acting into your game like that's a huge mistake it just comes off as awkward and lazy man oh and now there's not a single sound to be had so double awkward Ugh. or he might just start freaking singing again but again there's no voice acting. Enjoy him doing whatever that is for a little bit. Quality animations, am I right? I do think it is a little bit interesting how they're like part of the gym challenge and everything, but they seem to be almost ignored budget-wise. I don't know, I think that's a cool little spin to put on it. Just like despite how big the whole gym thing is, their town is still very much in shambles. Not that Pokemon would ever do anything interesting with a concept like that, but I think there are interesting places to take it. Look, his Pokemon looks kind of a lot like him. That's funny. Kind of like when you see a person who looks a lot like their dog. Oh, yeah? You got some music saved up for this battle? Throat chop? Jesus Christ! He's trying to kill my Pokemon! Throat chop me, man. I'll shake the very ground that you stand on. What the hell are you talking about? Like, I get that you want to work song lingo into your dialogue, but it's just so unnatural that I actually do not know what you're saying at this point. I speak the language of the gods. Fire. And I have a stinking feeling that your skunk isn't fireproof. All right, take it easy there, Marilyn Manson. Ah, oh, yeah, the dark badge, bro. The edgy badge. Wait, are they bowing down to me back there? This is weird. Is this a cult? Is Team Yell really just one big cult? Oh, no, they're crying. Okay. Push F to pay your respects for your gym leader. Man, this is actually a pretty touching moment. If only this dude could freaking emote his face a little bit. I know he's the edgy brother, but come on, brother. Your sister is a sweet person. Clear off for a bit, she says. I would have already done been cleared out of here if y'all didn't stop me every five freaking seconds. I did give that man a thrashing. Sure thing, man. You might want to choose your wording a little more carefully. Why do they keep telling me about stuff? just to have it be taken care of by this dude. I want to take care of something. I want to do something, man, other than just exactly the same thing I've been doing for the past however many hours. Why does this game not understand what an adventure is? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. Is that code for something, dude? Because I'll call the police, I swear. Sir, I think there's a man about to have a champion time. I feel like you should know. Well, I don't see a Dynamax Pokemon and I don't see a red light. So I think you're both liars. Pixar didn't happen, idiots. God, that's nothing interesting. That is just Hop. I've been tricked and manipulated. Ah yes, the magnificent Hop and his natural habitat. Confused as hell. Dude, this sure is a cool story. It would have been epic if I got to see it actually happen. Oh, but instead here's a freaking picture of a dude and they're showing me a picture of it. Why couldn't they just let me experience an event? Why are you over there now? Why would you switch positions like that on me? Don't make me fight you. I don't want to. Oh my god, he walked away. It's a Christmas miracle. I didn't have to fight Hop. Maybe my luck is starting to turn around. Dang, my man is cheesing it. I guess she's cheesing it too. I just feel like he's really, really cheesing it. The chairman called for me. He said he needed some new pants, so he stops getting arrested for walking around in his boxes. And I told him, how the hell did you get this number? Are you freak? This is, again, just another way of them telling me to not worry about it and just keep doing the same thing I've been doing. Which, okay, I'm a little dumb idiot, so I can't handle anything more than what I've been exactly explicitly told to do. Oh wait, no, I'm a freaking goddamn gamer. I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to get away from me before I send you to a place where most things don't come back from, aka my Charizard stomach. Do you think he sees me? Uh, did he just laugh and buff guy at me? You're going to die for that. Ooh, that is not enough XP. I'm gonna have to find a different way to do this. Maybe by picking a fight with a giant metal bird. That seems like a good idea. Gooigi, no! Don't fall for his ploy! Keep your gooey wits about you! The hell is that, like a fighting chicken? Oh my god, it's coming right for me! Jesus! Yo, I would never mess with a real-life hippo. Those things are freaking crazy dangerous, man. It's like a water bear. They like pull people out of boats and drown them. 
it's seriously scary. Who would win? One giant hippo or one gooey boy whose gooey body destroys everything it touches? All right, I gotta get Gooigi up in here to do the finishing blow so that he gets the maximum amount of juice in his body, making him even more gooey than he's ever been. Look, maybe the key to speeding this process up is to just fight a big Pokemon. That's not me. What's up with that picture? <laughs> Who is that? And ladies and gentlemen, that's the noise that killed me. Last thing I heard before I perished. It bothers me so much that Pikachu's the only one with like a voice. I didn't realize you could send giant butterflies at a guy as a form of attack. I will keep that in mind the next time I get into a bar fight. Uh, okay, good fight, I guess. Time to do what I do to everything else in this game. Burst it down with fire. I don't know what he did to my block of steel, but he touched it in some places and now he died. So I'm getting a little bit worried. I find it quite humorous that my man that is made of goo can learn a move called body slam. I suppose the goo is very corrosive and you wouldn't want, you know, to be hit by a body full of that, but still just think it's funny. Grow my children. Oh yeah, dude. His head's a little bit smaller than I thought it'd be, but he still looks pretty freaking sweet, man. Machoke me harder, daddy. Uh, what? The wild area. So vast and varied with the Pokemon that reside within it that I can run into 15 Machokes in a row. One, two, three, four. How many Machokes must I slaughter? That's right. I'm that kid on my bike. Oh, he kind of mucusy. A little bit thick? Like thick mucus, not thick in the other way. Come on. It's a pile of goo. It's not like that. Alrighty then. This puts most of my dudes, actually all of them but one, fully evolved. When is one head man gonna become two head man and then eventually three head man? So he too is a dragon type user. I'm sure he'll agree with me that Charizard is 100% a dragon. It's a little bit weird when it's just silent. See what I mean? Sebastian's got some serious anime vibes going on over there. <gasps> he also has a gooey boy, but my gooey boy's way bigger, dude. He's gonna crush your gooey boy under his goo. I must bury the past. Kill it if I have to. Yeah, shut up, Sebastian. I can't believe that there's only three of them here and they copy and pasted one of them, dude. Why do they do that so often? How hard is it to make three different looking NPCs? I understand very well that not every single NPC can be different, but you've got a customization system in play. Why not apply that to the trainers I have to fight? Why not at the bare minimum make three that are standing right next to each other different? Yeah, they told me when I wanted to have an all dragon squad that I might want to watch out for the ice. And you know what I told them? I like dragons. Winter Obama is no match for the power of dragons, dog. I don't care what kind of type advantage he has. Oh, he's kind of an abomination. That's all right. He'll 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 get to where he needs to be to not be completely disgusting. Stop referring to yourself in the third person. It's not cool. I, Doug Dimodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimodome, will show you the error of your ways. Sandaconda. They think that's clever, but it's just stupid. Did he just take a selfie mid-battle? I love this man. He uses dragons and oh my god, that's a building. Pretty sure I Dynamaxed Kiryu before and he didn't turn into a literal building. So why is his? <laughs> I can't believe he's a building. He's got windows and everything. Time to fight a building with a building. As the old saying goes, I used the building to destroy the building. Ah, this guy, man. You're a little bit late, Hop. I'm already the best. Jesus, man. The guy already has depression issues. You don't have to threaten to smash his dreams that hard. Then again, he won't stop pulsating. And if his dreams were crushed, I wouldn't have to see him again. So maybe go with it. What is up with this game and the term a good thrashing? Oh my god. Oh, it's powerful. She really is just best girl of the Pokemon franchise, isn't she? As you may or may not know, I went out of town and then I immediately got sick as soon as I came back, putting me completely off schedule. I also haven't played this game in a while, but I do know what that butt rock means. It means my most hated enemy is coming with me, isn't he? I don't know what nattering means, but it kind of sounds like nutting, am I right? I wouldn't say his strength is genuine, I would say it's superficial, considering he loses to me all the time and I'm a walking idiot. He is now pulsating at this giant man and my only question for him 
is when is he not gonna be in my life anymore? Something tells me that I'm kind of getting sort of close to the end of the game, maybe? Maybe because we're doing what we were doing at the beginning again, which is really just a metaphor for life, isn't it? I've got the red phone because I like red, and he's got the blue phone because he's a blue guy. That's a penis. Moving on. I'm still recovering from my cold, so you can't expect all my jokes to be on point. Sometimes observational humor is the way to go. Ooh, ice type Pokemon, you say? Well, good thing I've got a fire breathing dragon up my sleeve, buddy boy. Stay away from me. Whoa! It got really quick. It's faster than I thought it'd be. Oh, shoot. That's my gooey boy, not my fire boy. I need to get my fire boy out. Look, I don't want to have to do it to every single thing that I encounter, but the game is encouraging me to use Charizard at this point. Sometimes I just can't help myself, okay? Oh, yeah, that ice body ability is going to come in super handy when you're set on fire and melting. Did I say it was going to come in handy? I meant you were going to die. Easy mistake, though. Anybody could have made it. Stay away from me or I'll yell. The game tells me that this one is super effective. So this is the one I will use. Thank you, Pokemon and Game Freak, for doing the work for me. Though at some point, between all the hail and the healing, I get fed up, and I say Charizard! And nobody could blame me. Because how could you when setting things on fire always gets the job done? We're taking this whole straight line thing to a whole new level, aren't we? Hiker Douglas is a bit excited for my taste. I wonder how big the Pokedex says that Steelix is, because from this angle, it looks like Charizard is relatively about the same size as him. Conclusion, Charizard is big. Oh, I get it. It's Mudsdale instead of Clydesdale. It's clever, except it's not clever at all. Douglas's abs intimidate and arouse me. It is at this point in time that I wish I thought before I spoke. But hey, if I did that, I wouldn't have much of a career on the internet, now would I? Let's kill this one with air. Sometimes you gotta mix it up a little bit, right? Yo, I don't think any truer words have ever been spoken, Donald. Bro, bro, get away! Come on! Oh, I got freaking stuck on Ronald the Battleman! Now I have to set the child on fire. Please don't take that out of context. I once saw a duck. A true story. I'm sorry, is this crow bigger than Charizard? That will not do. I must set it ablaze. Stupid dumb metal bird. What do you think you are, Skarmory? They already did that. Oh, you think you're clever? You're gonna send out my own Pokemon that I have against me, huh? Well, guess what, buddy? I've prepared for that. The beauty of using dragons is that dragons are good against dragons because dragons are good against everything because they're dragons. How to train your dragon too, baby. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta do things that'll make this battle take even longer? God, playing this game is simultaneously kind of fun and also a really big chore. While that statement might sound conflicting, I feel that it is very, very true. Give me your money, you stupid postman. What? You didn't want what to ever end, man. It's a battle. It has to end one way or the other. Jesus, what is that thing? A literal polar bear? That is terrifying. Oh God, it's chasing me on all fours even. I found its baby. I know what I must do to its baby, and that is light it on flames so it may never grow into a full-size bear and threaten my safety ever again. It's Cold Obama. I never thought the day would come where I'd have to fight Cold Obama. Wait, Hiker Donald? Didn't I just fight Businessman Donald? You're Donald, he's Donald, I'm Donald. Are there any other Donalds I need to worry about? Dude, Glenn looks like he's about to go for the kill. Hey, Slosh. Now, why some air or Shulk's up B would be effective against an octopus is beyond me, but I'm not a master of typing. I'm just a Charizard enthusiast. Why does my man look just the most dead inside? They really are just giving me all the Pokemon that are weak to fire, aren't they? They want me to use Charizard, and who am I to deny them? Now we have to watch each one of these Pokemon be buffeted by the hail in what can only be described as a slow form of torture. I don't really know how my Pokemon are doing level-wise. I'm not exactly sure what level they're supposed to be at. I'm just gonna keep fighting every trainer I see, and I'm gonna hope that I'm where I'm supposed to be at the end of it all. How does that make any sense? Like, weather-wise, I mean. You know, I could bike down this lane, make it go quicker, considering it's just a straight line. But what a shame that would be when they put me in such a stupid-looking bike outfit, man. Ooh, a big city that'll only have one or two buildings that are even remotely important to me. You really gotta admire the determination that this man has. He's really pulsating at a whole city right now, isn't he? Laps and overconfident. Hope you guys weren't trying to have a good battle or anything, because I be spinning. Yo, I just found a guy that just gives you blast burn? 
That's what's up, man. I forgot all about Blast Burn. That moves way better than Flare Blitz. Can't believe they just have a random guy sitting there. I wonder what else I've missed by not talking to random people. What do you mean I can't pull up my bicycle in the five-star hotel? This is an outrage. Taking a quick pit stop because I was told that at Wedgehurst Station, I could see a special Pokemon. Oh, this is the DLC. I know what this is all about. I'm wasting my time. Although, cute anime girl. So is it really a waste of time? I think out of all the things on the screen right now, my favorite has got to be that dude's face. He is so done. Ah, yes, a wild slowpoke in the void. I always knew it would come to this. I mean, if I do literally anything to him, he'll die. So I have no choice but to just throw my balls at him. I said get in the ball. Mark my words, if you don't get in this ball, I'm killing you. I really don't care. You're not a Pokemon I want anyway. All right, you're a dead man. What do you mean? I don't want him and he won't get in the ball. I'm out of here. You're both idiots. Well, you're not an idiot. You're actually, I like your legs. Uh, see ya, Crow Row. Ah, uh, yes, Crow Row. Kind of awkward that one of my dudes still isn't fully evolved. He'll get there though, I'm sure of it. I don't really come here for the balls. I come here for your balls. I come here for you, ball guy. So ball guy's like a mascot for the whole gym thing. Does every single gym have a ball guy or is it all the same ball guy? Am I looking too into the ball guy lore? I'll stop. I'm sorry. All right, people with X and Y chromosomes and people with just X chromosomes. Are you ready to witness me Charizard my way to the top? I don't think there has been that much between us. I think you've shown up a few times and we've fought some other times but I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Them's fighting words. And let me tell you, my Charizard does not take fighting words lightly. He usually just sets them on fire. But this is it. Not only am I ready to get big, but I'm ready to crush my fellow trainer's dreams all in one fell swoop. Now watch as my fire breathing dragon burrows underground. That is both the most ridiculous sentence I'll say all day and the most ridiculous thing I've seen all day. Don't grow at me, sir. I don't appreciate it. The way I play Pokemon games literally hasn't changed in all of the 22 years that I've been alive. I find myself a Charizard and I push the A button. Jesus, it's the Green Goblin. I don't like it. I'm actually disgusted. Oh, you bitch. What? What? Are you kidding me? How does that make any sense? When I'm big dragon, it doesn't kill in one shot. But then when I'm normal size, it just like, boop, super unceremoniously. Are you serious with that? Look at her sway, man. Why are the girls in this game so cute? Well, you don't really have a choice. You lost, so that's what you're gonna do. No offense, but sometimes it do be that way. Your team's gonna be on fire. I can promise you that, buddy. I never would have dreamed exactly what happens in every single Pokemon game would happen in this game. It's quite crazy, honestly. Shut up, of course I did! You don't have to comment about it every single time! Hey, I'm a gambling man. I'll do it. I don't even care. Oh my god, it worked. Being a gambling man has immediately paid off. You are literally- you are! I- ah! I don't like you. I dislike you extremely. Who would win? One edgy emo boy or one chunk of goo? I forgot that Dynamaxing was a thing until just now, so it's time to make my gooey boy a huge gooey boy. I wonder what Hop will have to say about this 6-0 to zero defeat. He totally wasn't backed into a corner though. He had me right where he wanted me. Right up until that last moment where he lost it all. <laughs> Look at him, he's mad, dude. Uh, get good, kid. Well, that's because we're not heroes. We haven't done anything in service of the world. We've just been playing the sport. It's almost like that's what happens in every Pokemon game. Who could have guessed it? Say what you want about me dumping on the writing, but they had it coming, dude. They do the same thing every single game, and then they act like it's some big deal or a huge surprise. Hop is having a grug moment right now. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know what I want to tell this guy. That would require a lot of censorship on your part. What are these generic ass answers, man? I thank him for the great match. It wasn't great, it was easy. I told him how strong he was. He's weak as hell. That he was just the rival I knew he was. A sack of shit. No, 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 slow down. Don't come any closer. This game spends a lot of time showing me the back of Hop's head. Oh, back it in, Piers. Pack it in where? His butt? What, like, what is that supposed to mean? This music, his face, and this dialogue, 
None of it meshes well together at all. God in me now. It's not really making sense anymore, if I'm being honest with you guys. She doesn't want us to have this key, but then she goes here. This is the guy that I've given the key to. Gotta find him if you want the key. Just hold on to the key and don't let us have it. It's really that simple. Why give me a dialogue choice? What's the point of it? Thanks or thanks for the help? Agency! Oh no, he got away. I can't believe you're gonna make me do it again. This is so stupid. Why do I have to fight him again? I don't get it. This is obvious padding and in the worst form ever because it makes no sense. Truly, my time is being well spent and not at all wasted. Don't let him get away. Oh my God. This is infuriating. Is this a literal joke? Nintendo is treating me like a stupid baby and I don't appreciate it. There's no way they're gonna let him run away again, is there? And there he goes. Oh, he pulled out the microphone. Jesus Christ, I hate this game right now. The only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Except he's not singing, dude. It'd be nice if just one thing made sense, that's all. I don't think that's asking for too much. Why is the situation being treated with tension? As far as we know, the chairman is just talking to Hop's brother. We just want to have dinner when we want to have dinner, I guess. Well, now that we beat your one ant, I guess it's okay for you to give up on your direct orders, which were to remove us from the building. That makes a lot of sense. I think probably like 85% of this game has just been me using flamethrower. They don't want us to get to the top. It's been established that they have the ability to stop the elevator from outside of the elevator at any point, and yet they keep letting it go up. I may be stupid, but this is some good plot. Does somebody actually view this as fun or interesting at all? They could have just as easily had me get to the top and fight two guys with more Pokemon than just one, rather than stopping me every five seconds to fight two people with one Pokemon each. This dialogue was written by a child or an idiot. Why have me move just to move me back where I was? Why you do this game? That's it, I don't know what's going on anymore. I admit it. Is this lady gonna kill me? Is that what she's trying to infer? Oh my God, she wants to murder me. I have no shame in admitting I'm down for a psycho waifu. We all know that yandere's have their place in society. She is going to Dynamax the garbage. She's gonna make it big, big garbage. Big garbage might be a metaphor for the series at this point. What, the these are just pictures. What the hell? They're delivering critical story info in just pictures? This is so lazy, dude. I'm actually blown away by this. This is incredibly bad. They couldn't even make a cutscene. This is supposed to be like dramatic info, dude. I'm not gonna read this. This is insulting. I paid $65 for this garbage. Oh, and look at that. And now it's back to the in-game models, dude. This is a nightmare, man. Oh my God. I guess we're just teleporting back to the hotel. Really glad we went all the way up there. Super fun. Here we are back where I already was. But again, wait, why are all these guys here? I thought I just had to fight Leon. Why do I have to battle all of them again? That makes no sense. I already beat them. They're gym leaders. I carumba, dude. Why is he here? What is happening? Just let me end this game. Why is his interruption being accepted? He literally just admitted that it's against the rules. And yet here we go, because there's got to be more trainers for me to fight before I get to the end of this dang game. But it's really good though, so you shouldn't criticize it online. Uh. Too bad, so sad, boo-hoo, you entitled little doucher. I had planned to finish the game in this video, however, unexpected event after unexpected event has caused this to take much, much longer than I had previously anticipated. On top of that, I assume I'm gonna have to refight every single gym leader that I've already defeated, and on top of that, I assume I might have to fight a couple of space aliens or some other padding along the way. Keeping all that in mind, I'm just gonna end this video right here, and seeing as how I have no idea how to properly end this video, all right, all right, now, if I remember correctly, I left off about to destroy everybody again, because when you're the best of the best, that's what you got to do. I get the feeling you say that strictly because that's what people have said for literally ever in these games. Not because it's ever been accurate, but hey, there's a first time for everything, right? Maybe, maybe one of these people will just beat me and that's the plot of the game. Learning to deal with actual losing. Sonya won't be disappointed. I'd never do that to her. Uh-oh. 
the ice moves are not good for my health. Man, and this stupid fish is faster than me too? How could a fish be faster than a pile of goo? Use Charizard and set absolutely everything on fire. A flawless strategy that has been working for decades and will continue to work for decades more. I must say I am so ever frightened of your fish. My hulking gigantic monster creature sure won't have a tough time killing that. Well, that's a nice little touch. The crowd got a little bit louder when I got a critical hit. It's much better than Hop exclaiming to me for the millionth time that I got a super effective or a critical hit. It would appear that subtlety is not completely lost. You know, I've seen that move a few times and I still don't really know what it does. It just seems like an inconvenient breeze at worst. Already, she's down to her last Pokemon. I wonder if she's gonna make this one big. No way, I was right, she's gonna make him big! I've never seen such strategy, not even from her the first time we fought. Oh wait, wait, no, I saw this same exact strategy the first time we fought. It's okay though, because I used the same exact strategy as well. Now, go, my big boy, become ginormous! I have to give them credit where credit is due, they're not changing their strategies up at all, which makes them easier to deal with than the first time. Sarcasm. Okay, you can stop with the with the references to waves and storms and water. Uh, what else did she say? Tell me. You are just worthless. Why would you not listen to what she was saying about me? I wonder if this is random or if it's uh predetermined, like if it happens this way every time. Let me know down in the comments. That's actually that'd be interesting if this could change up depending on who played. Well, I'm sorry you're ugly, but that's just how it is. It's just called the semifinals, dude. Calling it the semifinal of the finals is a bit redundant. Okay, one last spin for good measure before we go into the semifinals of the finals. Redundancy. Yeah. Karate prodigy. Does she do karate in her spare time or is she just a gym leader? Which is it? Oh God, she's gonna kill me for asking too many questions. We're on grass, but I can still hear her little footsteps. I would love to witness what you can do firsthand. As long as what you can do rhymes with having your Pokemon set on fire. This has got to be one of the most ridiculous looking Pokemon in all of this game. The only more ridiculous one I can think of off the top of my head is the Weezing that has clearly spent a little too much time at his local dispensary. Of course I'm not going to give up, I'm winning. You'd think they'd program in at least one different dialogue option for these characters, but they always just assume that things are going to be super close. Remember when you saw these animations the first time? Do you still like them? And here comes the giant fist! Too bad it's not very effective, my guy. But hey, at least you're big, right? If Nintendo has taught me anything, it's that size is what matters. Unless it doesn't. Oh, T-Pose on him, Charizard! Also, you may not want to mention those around here. What with the internet being a thing and all? Thank you for the match. Thank you for your hips as well. There's a lot of emotion in this scene right now. As you can clearly tell, Tamer of Dragons. I'll show this gigantic man who the real trainer of dragons really is around here. It would be very easy to just walk over here and pull out a gun. Bro, don't put me to sleep. These matches already take long enough as is. God damn it. Your goo's no match for my goo. Especially not when my goo goes first, buddy. See, the thing about using dragons is dragon stuff is good against dragons. So when you have a dragon user who's going up against dragon user, it tends to be kind of a slobber knocker. I'm glad you did that. My pea brain couldn't have handled the information without your explanation. Oh, nice. Press X to doubt. I still think it's hilarious that that's literally a building with windows and everything. Ooh, I rocked the foundation. Do you like my puns? Will you subscribe now, please? For like a split second, I thought he was talking about alcohol. I don't like that sentence. I don't like where it ends. Next time, maybe don't cut off the text box right there. Finally, time to bowl over this Charizard wannabe. Ugh. Oh God, dude. I don't like the way his face looks with that head pose. What? What? Who's? Oh, that's his Pokemon. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, I got confused right there. He's gonna pulsate. I just know it. It's in his blood. Oh my god, he didn't do it. He showed restraint. I'm impressed. Is it funny if I just steamroll the champion with my level 69 Charizard? Or is that just mean? Da, 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 da. I'll leave the rest up to your imagination or your memory, whichever comes first. I wouldn't call the air very still, man. Look at your hair and cape. They are going. Though I guess that might just be your superhero vibes because my hair's not moving one bit. God, I really dislike the phrasing of that sentence, dude. We'll see whose Charizard's the best Charizard at the end of the day, buddy. I got a feeling mine at the nice level might be the winner. Just letting you know that I've decided to interrupt you right before the climactic final battle. 
We're really doing the purple beam into the sky thing, like from the Avengers, aren't we? But why is this your responsibility? Wouldn't this be like the police's responsibility or something? I don't understand how this falls under champion duties. So it's just like, yeah, you must be the champion. You got to take on all challengers to reach you and uh, solving world ending crises. That's like an insult to me while he's putting himself down. He's like, I can't even manage to beat you and you're nothing. So what does that make me? Now this feels like a real Pokemon episode up in here. It just wasn't right without his pulsating. Oh dear God, have I become accustomed to it? What is going on with the frame rate? Can't handle all the perfection. I don't look anything like her anymore. I forgot that that's what she looks like. Notice where my character's eyes are. Always where they should be, on Sonya. Yeah, I'm here to stop the apocalypse. Don't worry about it, Mom. It's not dangerous whatsoever. I can do it with the animals that are in my balls. <laughs> All that matters is that you do what you can. Go stop the apocalypse, honey. I'll support you every step of the way. Gotta carefully watch my step and avoid every single woodland critter. No need for a slaughter here. Oh, I'm booging it! Whoa! Okay, I ran right into a bird. Well, I didn't want to decimate the local wildlife population, but... I ran into a bird, so my hands are tied. Poising! Like you got any Doritos, man? You know, or you could go the way of Hero and kill yourself. Good thing I told Charizard to get down, Mr. President. Why does this thing's instinct to frame one blow itself up? Wait, how can he poison me when I'm underground? Not right. Nope, just kidding. We all know I have no choice. That's not what this game is about. Really isn't difficult to find these legendary doggos, is it? It's a shocker nobody has found these two sooner. I'll tell you who has lost the plot is this freaking game. Well, that's broken. Oh, okay, I just pick it right up there. Don't even worry about the tetanus. Oh, he disappeared. Gotta go quickly. And there's only one person's boote I'm interested in devouring today. Hello, I'd like to complete the story now. I've done the wise thing and deleted myself from the game. Just kidding, that's not possible. Jesus, the animation in this game hurts me. I read that as Eternutus. I really wish that that was its actual name. Probably setting something on fire. It's kind of what I do. From my perspective, you're just a huge waste of time. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, that was jarring. <laughs> Way to grip that ball, buddy. Allow me to introduce you, Mr. Chairman, to what I do best. That is throw out my Charizard and push the A button. Everyone else has gotten to experience at least a little bit of it. Now it's your turn. Looks like another bad Pokemon choice, Mr. Chairman. You should have stuck to being a creepy dude in boxers instead of the main antagonist, I guess. Ah, oh, Jesus, dude, it's an elephant. Huh. I still have my sweet hair, dude. Your efforts were all for naught. <laughs> this guy just referred to himself as a princess. As if him trying to end the world is anything like what a princess would do. Princesses don't end the world, bro. They save it. Watch Frozen. <laughs> I love how they threw in right at the end that Hop also lost to him. Hop loses to everyone. Dude sucks. You better sleep with one eye open, dude. You've ruined my gym challenge. I worked my whole 10 days for that or something. I'll never forgive you. He vanished. The hell is this thing? Looks like a DNA gone wrong. Gone sexual? Kobe! You know, I'll be really impressed if a regular ass Pokeball worked on this giant DNA dragon. Well, that was cute. Charizard protected us. See, Charizard's a good boy. Yeah, dude, you're gonna want at least an Ultra Ball for that thing. Shoot all the big lasers you want at me, bro. See if I care. Jesus Christ, I care. Jesus, talk about killing a dude. I just meant for him to faint. I didn't mean for him to shoot up into the sky and explode. We look so cheerful despite facing down the apocalypse. But I mean, we're children, we can handle it. Oh, with their relics combined, they are now Sword Doggo and Shield Doggo, the ultimate forms of Doggo. Thank you, Pokemon. I did want to see a dog attack a worm with a sword. I'm happy that you were able to make my wish come true. <laughs> okay. I'm on board all the way now. All right, it was cool the first time, but by the third time, I've kind of lost interest. Yeah, 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 big dog uses big sword. Big damage, big boom, big cool. Who thought it was a good idea to make this battle last so long that you'd have to see these animations multiple times over? <laughs> they just took off, as dogs do. He should be in prison. 
Somebody else might propose the counter-argument when it comes to causing a catastrophe a thousand years in advance. Sometimes it do be that way. Oh, I'll show you what I can do. It rhymes with using my bars hard. Let me in. What the hell? Open the doors! The day is here at last. Charizard v. Charizard. Only one of us will reign supreme. And that one of us is owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome. Good god, finally! Can't wait to take this dude down a few notches. Oh, okay, he did the same thing Hop did. That's cute. No! Like brother, like brother! He's commenting on super effective hits. So annoying. God, he looks so weird without his cape, man. It feels like half of him is missing. Why are we this far into the game still pointing out critical and super effective hits? Also, I thought Raihan was the dragon expert, but it looks like Leon uses just as many dragon moves as he did. I mean, I guess I might die now. You used your trump card a little too soon, my guy. We both know the value of a strong Charizard, and you wasted it. I'm using the might of my whole team to put the whooping on you. You've had this coming. It's down to my Charizard, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I played poorly, but I'm still gonna win. I really just like the phrase, having a champion time. That being said, I'm gonna have a champion time crushing your last Pokemon. Well, goodbye, you dumb rabbit. I'm afraid Mr. Champion wasn't able to teach you anything except how to suck. That's right, dude, it was a ruse. I could have crushed your whole team with my Charizard anytime I wanted. Oh, it's my mom. She came and saw the big match. Now she knows I'm the best of the best. Well, I mean, you're not unbeatable since I beat you, so... Whoops. Well, those two don't look very happy about the situation. Yes, I'm the new champion. What matters now is my plan. Oh, okay. Didn't realize we were gonna cut to black right there. Oh, oh, that's the end of that was the credits. All right then. Why do they insist on having things pantomime music when nothing makes music or vocal sounds in this game? I mean, at least he has a drum. The other guys are just air guitaring. Okay, look, look, look. I know I've given this game a very hard time. But that's just because, in my opinion, it sucks big time. <laughs> like, I can still have a fun time with it, but whoo! Game's got a lot of issues, dude. <coughs> the end. Except not really because of DLC. And also post-game stuff. Look, I've never been one for post-game content, but I can always subscribe to the best girl. I just want to help her. I just want to simp for her. It's me, Mr. MVP. Simp! Uh, you're kind of intruding on my simp time here, buddy. I'm gonna have to ask you to go away. Just like all social events in 2020. Ew, don't slowly crane your head and look at me. Look away! Stop it! Look away. Is that a power move back there? Oops, I didn't mean to transform into bike form. Oops, I did it again. I gotta stop doing that. It's embarrassing. I love how everybody just stops in their tracks when I get on and off my bike. Are they intimidated by me, or do they respect me? Or both? Do you want to catch Pokemon together? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless... Champion Doug Dimidome. Boy, does that have a nice ring to it. I guess it's 5% cool seeing all these places at night. That's the only praise I have left. It's not gonna get better than that. Oh, how I do love a post-game fetch quest. First go here, next go here, then give me your children. I gotta give it to him though. There is power in those hairstyles. Bro, just pulsate at them and they'll go right away, I swear. It always works on me. I'm sorry, did Hop lose all of his Pokemon? God, my freaking hero, dude. Fine, I'll do it myself. You did it? Seriously? It's stuff like this that makes me hate your guts. Everything about this animation makes me want to uninstall this video game from my Switch. Oh no, they got away. It me, dead inside. I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, good lord, it's not fine. Off I go. Very slowly. Oh, please maul him to death. Please do it. This is a quality cutscene, man. Powerful narrative stuff going on. God, it's so terrible. That is indeed a ball. Look at that lad hold that ball. Oh, no, he's gonna ask me to fight him again, isn't he? No, the butt rock. Oh, he's got a favorite ask. Here it comes. No! Ugh, fine. I'll spank those cheeks one more time, boy. <laughs> I can just shoot him down. That's awesome. Oh, big shocker. He lost again. Oh, <laughs> that's Tim Allen from the Home Improvement OP. It's finally time when a double-headed boy becomes a triple-headed man. 
He has reached his final form. Uh, I would like that job, please. Sir, are you okay? Do I need to get you to a doctor? There's something about the look in his eyes that I just... I hate it so much. The end for real. Until the DLC, which is soon. So subscribe and I'll learn how to end a video properly by then.